Well, the Guns of Roses is blaring in, the ba uh, blaring in the background, and we're ready for a great night of Tisha Domingo County basketball. Good evening, everybody, and we welcome you to Iuka, Mississippi for another great night of basketball action here on WRMG TV 12 TV 97. We are your hometown station supporting your hometown teams. We've got big time basketball this evening. In fact, we've got two big nights in a row of basketball coming your way here from the campus of Tisha Domingo County High School. Tonight's games, of course, proceed tomorrow's big division one for a games with Ripley tonight. The Lady Braves and Braves of Tisha Domingo County will be hosting Starkville Academy, the first time ever that Starkville Academy has been here in this gymnasium. Of course, we've got all the action for you coming up here in about six minutes or so from the campus of Tishomingo County High School. Welcome aboard the broadcast. Blake Long, Randall Lindsay, the A-team here with you, and it's great to be with you. Thank you for so much for bringing us into your home on a cool, cold December night. Uh, certainly, uh, as we start the broadcast off, our thoughts and prayers are with those in the Tishomingo area that were affected by the tornadic activity on Monday. Uh, close scare for a lot of people, and I know there were some in the Tishomingo County community that were affected uh, by these storms, including, I believe, the McNatt family. Um, so our prayers with all these families that uh, had uh, property destroyed, uh, affected their life in any way. Thank goodness, no loss of life here in Mississippi, but our prayers are certainly with those in uh, Louisiana uh, and uh, in Alabama who had lives that were unfortunately lost by the storms on Monday. So Tishomingo, of course, will bounce back. It's a great community. Of course, I grew up there, and uh, certainly the people there are strong and will rebuild uh, any damage that was had. We transition now into a great night of basketball. The Starkville Academy, once again, is your opponent this evening. And, uh, again, that proceeds tomorrow night's big-time matchup between the uh, Ripley Lady Tigers and the Tishomingo County Lady Braves, a Division one for a game tomorrow night here on WRMG. Of course, the Lady Braves have been hot here as of late. We'll tell you more about that here in a moment. But first, let's take time in to tell you about some great sponsors, including our friend Dr. Chris Moss. He's your hometown chiropractic specialist at the Belmont Chiropractic Clinic. He serves Belmont and surrounding area since 1998 from his office in downtown Belmont next door to the historic Belmont Hotel. Daly's Body Shop and Towing at 15 Yellow Creek Avenue, 662-427-9234 in Burnsville. can make your car, truck, and SUV look like new again. Thank you to D&D Equipment and Rental of Iuka. Renting small construction equipment and a wide variety of hand tools at 493 County Road 169 here in Iuka, 662 423 8283. The Tisha County Electric Power Association is a member of TVAZ program. They'll come and do an energy audit of your home, and for more information, you may call 662 423 3646. Tonight's game brought to you by Gina McNatt. She's your Tisha County tax collector. Thanks to Hometown Pizza in Iuka. At 621 Battleground Drive, that's uh, Regina and James, your owners, of course, of Hometown Pizza. With pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, and hoagies, this is a carrot location only. The phone number is 662-593-3036. IUCA Discount and Drugs, of course, that's Chris Polinius and Kermit Lee Griffin, the entire staff there, 662-423-9039. Donald Ray Thomas, your South End Constable, Tishomingo County, sponsoring tonight's matchup. Also, Northeast Mississippi Community College. Of course, Northeast uh, has openings now for spring semester classes. And for information, you may call 1-800-555-2154 or visit nemcc.edu. Peyton Cummings, your Tisha Mingo County Chancery Clerk, sponsoring our broadcast coverage this evening. Also, Iuka Animal Clinic. It's Dr. James Perkins and his staff at Highway 25 South taking care of all of your uh, pet health care needs. 662-423-3470. For emergencies, you may call 256-740-4800. David Wayne Crum is your Tisha Mingo County Tax Assessor sponsoring tonight's broadcast. Also, thanks to Gatlin's Pharmacy. Of course, that's our uh, friend Stanley Page. So you can save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy, your Health Mart Pharmacy in downtown Tisha Mingo, 662-438-6605. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, safety apparel, vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, earplugs, made and sold in Belmont, 1-800-647-8168. State Farm Insurance Agent Boyce Hollingsworth will handle all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, health, and retirement. He's at 214 East Equipment Street, Iuka, 662 423 5931. BJ Supermarket in Burnsville, Highway 365 South, open seven days a week at your hometown store. Prices are low there, 52 weeks every single year. And we've only got about, what, uh, we're 50 weeks into the year now. Uh, so those prices still owe two more weeks, I can promise you that, folks. So we, of course, are getting close to the end of 2019. That is hard to believe, the end of a wonderful decade of uh, sports coverage here on WRMG, the end of a great decade for this community here, uh, Burnsville, IU, Katushamingo, the whole county as well. We're so blessed to be part of that, WRMG. We mentioned the Lady Braves on a hot streak. They have not lost since that tough road loss to Belmont 
on November the 14th. Of course, it's been a while since I've been on the air with you. Uh, Jack Ivey and Scott Webster have uh, filled in for me very admirably, I should say. I want to thank those two outstanding gentlemen. Uh, they've had some of your Tisham Mingle County coverage here over the last couple of weeks while I've been off doing uh, business with Northeast Mississippi Community College. And, of course, their men on a hot streak themselves at 10-0 during the holiday break. Specifically talking about the Lady Braves, uh, of course, uh, they've won nine in a row, dating back to that Belmont loss. And, of course, the last three, and uh, possibly the biggest one among that group, the one uh, marquee win certainly is the winner of the defending 1A champions of Pine Grove, 59-32. Of course, uh, two big division games in that stretch as well, the last three games. A uh, 51-43 win here over New Albany. And then uh, earlier this week on Tuesday night, a 58-42 win at North Pontotoc, another big win. So the Lady Braves 2-0 division play, but they are 11-2 overall, riding that big nine-game winning streak. So we are looking forward to a great night of basketball. Starkville Academy head coach Bill Ball brings his Lady Volunteers in this evening and should be a great night of hoops. Again, our sponsors this evening, Josh McNatt. Gortisha Mingo County Circuit Court Clerk, Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick. Try their best to meet your high reach needs, trimming and removing trees, debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning church steeples as well. 662 279 7500. The IU Commonument Company, the highest quality at a reasonable price. 662 423 3203. Mac Lawman, your Tisha Mingo County Coroner, sponsoring the broadcast. Also, Nunley Trucking Company, Herman and Darren and their entire staff. 662 424 0080. About time for our national anthem now, brought to you by Burnsville Tire. Ethan Morris, your owner at 246 Highway 72 West in Burnsville, the home of free mounting and balancing with the purchase of any tire, 662-4279-308. And, hey, we want to remind you, you can get a copy of tonight's game or any game that we do here in WRMG on DVD. Just contact Jack or Denise Ivey. The phone number there is 662-454-9797. Again, contact Jack or Denise Ivey for uh, DVD copies. If you want to become part of our sponsorship team as well, never too late to jump on board. 662-454-9797 against tonight's game as always live on WRMGRadio.com. All you have to do is click the TCHS Sports Link. You can listen to us from anywhere in the world on your smartphone, computer, or tablet. Of course, that'll be the same tomorrow evening when the Ripley Lady Tigers and Tigers come to town. And of course, we're proud to bring the service to you. Live coverage. You also have watch the game on Facebook Live, YouTube, uh, also, well, of course, the DVD copy several ways. Of course, TV 12, TV 97 will have broadcast replays as well throughout the week. Also, time again for our national anthem brought to you by Tiffin Motor Homes of Red Bay Bowman on the UK featuring those great Allegro homes. Now, our national anthem. National Anthem. Now time for starting lineup. It's brought to you by Harwell Parts and Supply, your car quest dealer at 1102 West Quitman Street. Now you can stop by and let Chad and the staff take care of your parts and supply needs. This phone number is 662-423-9892. Now back court side, starting lineups. Starkville Academy, Tishomingo County Girls.
right, the lights are coming back on. Here are your starting lineups first for Tushamingo County. Of course, your Lady Braves, the home team this evening. Starters for Coach Brian Middleton and Coach Louis Riddick in the Lady Braves. A sophomore number five, Madison Bennett. Senior number 12, Campbell Holly. Junior number 20, Mara Nunley. A senior number 30, Katie Powers. And a sophomore number 42, Clara Garland. That's the head uh, starting lineup for Coach Middleton and the Lady Braves. Starkville Academy will have these five. Number two, Marin Shy. Number three, Abby O'Neill. Number 11, Lily Alp. Hope we're saying that last name correctly. That was how our... Uh, public address had it, and we're going to go with that as well. Number 12, Fallon Parker. Number 24, Caroline Wood. We've got we've got Mississippi State President Mark Keenum in the building. He's got two daughters on this team, if I'm uh, interpreting it correctly. Mary Phillips Keenum, number 20, and Katie Keenum, number 21. So good to have Dr. Keenum. He's a Northeast alum. Well, he's got to have a nice Northeast plug as we get this matchup underway. Tip controlled by, or won by Garland, controlled by Mara Nunley. Lady Braves off to a fast start going inside. Two points and then good. Katie Powers gets the first points of this contest. Lady Braves ahead quickly 2-0. Lady Braves have been wearing gray at home uh, usually this season, but tonight they're in their home whites. White tops, white shorts, gray uh, trimming and blue piping down the sides. Blue numerals on the front and the back. Blue lettering that says TCHS on the front. Starkville Academy in road orange. Orange tops, orange shorts, white and blue piping down the sides. They've got uh, white numerals on the front and the back trimmed in navy. And then they've got white lettering trimmed in navy on the front that says Lady Vols. Here's a jumper. Two point on the way off the hand of P Parker. No good. Rebound goes out of bounds. It'll be Tishomingo County basketball. If you're just tuning in, we are just underway to Shemingo County and Starkville Academy meeting for the first time ever here in Iuka. These two teams did meet last year down in Starkville. One time meeting. This one also the only meeting this year between these two programs that we've seen to Shemingo County. Here's a three from uh, Nunley. Rolls around in and out. No good. Rebound controlled by Starkville Academy. We've seen Tishomingo County play a lot of members uh, private schools this year. Members of the Mid-South Association of Independent Schools. There's a steal by Madison Bennett. Left-handed layup is in and good. Lady Rays lead 4-0. And we've got a quick timeout by Starkville Academy. Timeout on the floor with 6.48 to go in the opening period of play. Your score to Shemingo County for Starkville Academy 0. And to finish our thought quickly, again, not the first private school opponent Lady Braves have played this year. They've played North Delta. The guys, of course, have played Delta Streets Academy. We've also been here as North Delta has come here. Uh, pardon me, I've already said North Delta. Uh, that would be out of Columbus. Heritage Academy has come here as well. So not the first private schools that the Braves and Lady Braves have played this year. Um, and to my recollection, I may be incorrect on this, but I think this is the last MA, MAIS, MHSAA matchup this year between Tishomingo County and a private school opponent. This time on the floor brought to you by Milligan Ready Mix, Little 25 North in Iuka, 662-423-6238. Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Home owned, home operated your hometown pizza, 662-360-4019. Thanks to Hometown Pizza in Burnsville. And I do want to retract that statement. I do believe that either the Lady Braves or Braves are going to play a, another MAIS member down at the East Webster Tournament. We'll talk more about that tomorrow as that will be the Christmas break tournament that Tishomingo County participates in this year. East Webster and I believe Pillow Academy, if I remember correctly, one of the, of the two schools or maybe both are playing Pillow Academy one of the two days that they are down in Matheson. Now back to action here. Starkville Academy with possession of the basketball. Trailing Tishomingo County 4 to nothing. This is Shy with the basketball. Now over to number three, Abby O'Neill. O'Neill lost possession and Power steals it away. And now she's fouled from behind. A good call there by our officiating crew. The foul will go against Starkville Academy, number three, Abby O'Neill. Her first, first whistle against either team in the ballgame comes at the 6-12 mark of the opening period. Well, Jack Ivey's got a good one down in Belmont tonight. Boonville and Belmont are the big division matchup there. We'll try to get some updates for you here on the broadcast. Check in with Jack from time to time. So that's our basketball coverage tonight. We've got Belmont, Boonville down in Belmont. And then, of course, our matchup here in Iuka with Starkville Academy. Another foul on the play. It'll be free throws coming for Tishomingo County. Foul goes against Starkville Academy. Number 11, Lily Alp. It's her first, team second. Two free throws here. And it will be Campbell Holly going to the charity strike for two. Bennett's got two points so far. Powers has two, and Holly will miss her first free throw. Today's game brought to you by Explore Liquidation in Belmont. Your home for bargains, Mike Stockton, Jada Pitts. Of course, so your president and manager there. Find mattresses at lowest prices around with living room, bedroom, dining room furniture, tools, cool gel pillows, and much more. You can take Highway 25 South Dickinson Road across from the Tiffin's entrance in Belmont. Holly makes the back end of the two-shot violation. 5-0, and now a foul on the inbounds play. We'll go against Tishomingo County. This one against the young lady who just 
hit the free throw. Campbell Holly, her first, team first here. 5.58 to go, opening period. Lady Braves up 5-0, going to use that full court trap, see if they can get that to their advantage. Used it several times this year with success as well. Starkville Academy up oh, near walk there. That pivot foot came close to moving, but no call by our officiating crew, led today by Daryl Rogers. Here's a long two, it's in and good. That's number three, Abby O'Neill. And the first points for Starkville Academy come at the 540 mark of the opening period of play. 5-2 Lady Braves here in this girls matchup. As a reminder, always, guys, action coming up next right here on your home for the Tishomingo County Braves, WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Nunley for three, no good. Rebound, still loose, picked up finally by Starkville Academy's Caroline Wood. Lady Vols trailing to Shemingo County, 5-2, 5-15 to go, opening period of play. Now, double team there, pass goes ahead to Shy. Shy lost it briefly, now we'll dish it back to number 11, Lily Alp. Alp gets a screen from Wood, now she'll pull up a three to tie the game, no good off the back iron. Right, offensive rebound though, by Caroline Wood keeps the possession alive. Wood has been... Uh, very effective in the paint tonight. Now blocked shot by Clara Garland. Ball goes out of bounds. Should be last touch by Wood. It is indeed. It's Tishomingo County basketball. Here comes the first sub for head coach Brian Middleton. It'll be number 24, Brownlee Hill, checking in to replace Clara Garland. Today's game brought to you by Piggly Wiggly, by Yuka, Belmont, and Red Bay. Lowest prices and hometown friendly service. Also thanks to Grace Long Real Estate can help you sell your home. Grace and her staff will work hard for you. 662-423-5555. Here's Hill with the basketball. Powers inside to Nunley. She takes one dribble, puts up a contested shot, and she is fouled. We've got two free throws coming here for Mara Nunley as the violation goes against, uh, should be yes indeed, it is 24. And that's Caroline Wood, her first, team third, two free throws here as Mara Nunley looks to become the fourth lady brave to score in this contest. Here's the free throw, and it is true. She will indeed do just that. H on Block and Ayuka Red Bay and Fulton are your tax professionals. They're sponsoring tonight's basketball action here on WRMG. Next free throw for Nunley is up and is likely, uh, likewise, pardon me, true as well. Two points for Nunley, seven for the Lady Braves is a total. Seven to two is your score. Clock running now with four and a half minutes to go in this first period of play. Sartreville Academy once again breaks the uh, trap and the Lady Vols so, so far have done a good job. Now across the way to number three, that is Abby O'Neill. She's got the only points for Sartreville Academy in the game. Now number 11, Alp. Number 12, that is Fallon Parker. Back now to the hands of Alp. She'll take a couple of dribbles. She's being guarded by Katie Powers. Alp, we're trying to feed inside to Wood. Now we should have a jump ball. No, no call. Jumper on the way from O'Neill's. No good rebound to Mara Nunley of Tishomingo County. Here come the Lady Braves. Mara Nunley now over to number 12. Holly for three. No good. Lady Braves over from three-point range early in the game. Rebound to Marin Shy for Starkville Academy. 7-2 your score still. So we play on here in the opening period of competition. O'Neal will take dribble. She's being guarded by Mara Nunley. Picks up her dribble over now to Shy. Shy. Now over to Alp. They're trying their best to feed Wood inside. Now there's a three on the way. Well off the mark off the hand of Lily Alp. Rebound to the Lady Braves. More than halfway through our opening period of now. 7-2. Nunley a long three this time. No good. And I don't have the numbers in front of me, sports fans, but I would say here that the Lady Braves are at least 0 for 5 from three-point range, 0 for 4, somewhere in there to start this game from long distance. So uh, may have to rethink the strategy there. Of course, you know the three-point shots will get the fall. Now ball tipped out of bounds should be uh, Starkville Academy basketball. Today's game brought to you by Sid Whitehurst and Sid Trinity Company. If you've got a bush hog mower dig, get it at Sid's. Of course, they have a uh, bush hog zero turn Mowers, Coyote Tractor, Skag Mowers, two great locations to serve you. Their newest location, of course, is at 617 Highway 72, just past the campus here of Tishomingo County. I'll score the phone number there at 662-205-6469. Lady Volunteers with the basketball. Number two, Shy. They've not made the substitution yet. Has Starkville Academy now near steel. In fact, Bennett, can she control it? She will. Nice hustle play there for Bennett. No foul call there as Powers ends up with a basketball. Jumper in and good. Katie Powers, she's got four points now. Lady Braves lead stands at 9-2, to two, 2.35 to go opening period. Now another near still. In fact, it is thrown away, and we've got a timeout to Shemingo County. Hill and Powers are both there with the steal. I believe it went out of the hands of Lily Alp, and we've got a timeout here on the floor. We'll take it with them, 2.34 to go opening period of play. Your score to Shemingo County, 9, Starkville Academy 2, and the Lady Braves have basketball when we resume action. 
Let's tell you tonight's game brought to you by Ronnie Cook and Modern Women of America to help plan for, for your financial future and also to learn about member, member benefits. I'll uh, get it out here in a moment. Just uh, pardon me to Mr. Cook. You can get to know your Modern Women representative, and he is Ronnie Cook, 662-423-8477. Give him a call. Start the conversation. I will uh, go ahead and apologize in advance. Been a little under the weather this week, um, but I am going to stick it in here and uh, have give you a great night of calling. So if I uh, take a pause for a moment, uh, I do apologize in advance. Uh, but it's great to be here with you as it always is on WRMG. Lady Ray ball underneath to Hill. We should have a jump ball. No, a foul going to be called. I think that's a break for the Lady Braves, and it should be two free throws coming here. And the foul will go against Starkville Academy, number 24, Caroline Wood. That is even bigger. I'm a, uh, wow. That's a, uh, a shocker to me. I certainly thought there was a jump ball there. Hill will shoot free throws, and it's in and good. Randall Lindsay said, the best medicine I could have was a dose of 18 medication. I, hey, I agree to that. It's great to be back. Like I said, it's been before Thanksgiving since I've done a game. So it's, uh, it's great to be back behind the microphone and with you. Free throw, second free throw in and good. So Wood, by the way, just picked up her second personal. Team foul number four when there could have been a jump ball there. Official though thought there was a foul before the jump ball, and it benefits the Lady Braves. They're now ahead 11-2. to two. Starkville Academy now to Alp. Alp stolen away by Powers. Powers with the left hand. Shot up in and good. Contested make there from Katie Powers. She's got six. Lady Braves have their first double digit lead of the game. It's 13 to 2 with 2.12 to go in the opening period of play. Nice screen there from Wood for Starkville Academy. And now Alp is trapped. She'll go inside. There's Wood. It's in and good. Give the assist to Lily Alp. Caroline Wood, they've been trying to feed her throughout the game so far. That's her first points of the contest. Score now to Shemingo County 13, Starkville Academy 4 as Coach Middleton ready to check in. Five new players here momentarily. There's a shot, nice block there from Alp on Campbell Holly. John ball goes out of bounds. Should be Starkville Academy basketball, and that is indeed the case. All right, now here come the five new players for the Lady Braves. Let's give them to you. Here's number four, Lexi Kennedy. Number two, Brianna Lowry. Also number 25, Jayla Brown. We've got number 15, Ashley Booker, and I'm missing one, and I see her now. It's 21, Adney Floyd. And a five-second violation. So the new team comes in, or the second string comes in here and immediately forces a turnover, and it'll be Tishomingo County basketball underneath their own basket. 1.45 to go in this opening period of play. Inbounds play will go to Adney Floyd. Floyd now over to Booker for three. No good. Rebound. Caroline Wood and Starkville Academy get it. Today's game brought to you by Belmont Chiropractic with Chris Moss, your hometown chiropractic specialist in Belmont and the surrounding area since 1994. Here's Wood with the basketball now for Starkville Academy. Thought about a three, did Parker, now her shot up no good. Rebound controlled by Lexi Kennedy and Tishomingo County. Got 80 seconds to go in the opening period of play. 13 to 4 is your score. Floyd, go with the left hand now inside the lane, shot up, no good. Rebound punched out of bounds by Kennedy. It will be Starkville Academy basketball. Daly's Body Shop and Towing in Burnsville, 15 Yellow Creek Avenue, 662-427-9234. James Daly can make your car, truck, and SUV look like new again. Another pass tipped out of bounds by Kennedy. It will still be Starkville Academy basketball. D&D Equipment and Rental of IU can rent small construction equipment and a wide variety of hand tools. They're at 493 County Road 169, 662-423-8283. And there still it is. Finally stolen away by number four, Lexi Kennedy, and she'll lay it in right at the hoop. Lexi Kennedy now the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Lady Brave to score in the opening period of play. 15 to 4. Now the score. Now Starkville Academy again trying to feed Wood. Stolen away though by number 15, Ashley Booker for the Lady Braves. 45 seconds to go, opening period of play. Floyd with the left hand now oversails the pass intended for Brianna Lowry. Will go out of bounds at the Starkville Academy bench. A turnover on the Lady Braves. Few of far between of those so far tonight for Tisha Mingo County. And I'll knock on wood just in case. Hopefully we won't jinx the Lady Braves there. Inbounds play now goes into the hands of number three, Abby O'Neill. We've got a foul on the Lady Braves. Foul goes against Tishomingo County, number 21, Adney Floyd. Her first, team second, 39, point, uh, 39 seconds to go on the dot here in the opening period of play. 15-4 is the score in favor of the Lady Braves. Starkville Academy gets it past the time stripe. 30 seconds to go. Trying to go inside, and they will find a player there. With a shot up off the hands of Alp, it's no good. Rebound controlled by the Lady Braves. 
Here comes Booker. Booker's pass to Adney Floyd. A short jumper on the way. No good. Rebound. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by Starkville Academy. Clock showing now 18.7 seconds to go in the opening period of play. Today's game brought to you by the Tishomingo County Electric Power Association, a member of TVAZ program. But come and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, 662-423-3646. Kennedy shot no good. Got her own offensive rebound. Put back on a short jumpers. No good. Rebound. Controlled by Starkville Academy's Abby O'Neill. Now under 10 seconds to go. Seven seconds. Six. No hurry for the Lady Vols. Don't know if they know what time is on the clock. Two seconds. One second. Zero seconds, and the clock is going to expire. They did not know the time on the clock, and that will conclude our first period of play with the score. Tishomingo County leading Starkville Academy 15-4. 15-4, your score after one period of play. Let's move on to the second period now. Coming up right here on WRMG TV 12 TV 97, brought to you by Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Also by Hometown Pizza, Iuka 621 Battleground Drive. It's Regina and James Smith, your owners. Don't forget, this is a carry location only. Give Brittany the crew a call. They'll get it ready for you, 662-593-3036. Now you can discount drugs. Of course, that's Chris Pelinius and Kurt Butler, Lee Griffin, the entire staff there can handle all your medication needs, 662-423-9039. Don Ray Thomas, your South End Constable, Tishomingo County, sponsoring tonight's broadcast. Also, Northeast Mississippi Community College, spring semester registration underway at Northeast. That'll start on, I believe, January 13th. Take your next steps with Northeast. Call 1-800-555-2154. Visit www.nemcc.edu. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancellor Clerk, sponsoring the broadcast. Also, uh, D- David Wayne Crumb, your Tisha Mingle County Tax Assessor. Dr. James Perkins and his staff at the IUCA Animal Clinic can handle all your health care needs for your pets and any animals you may have. 662-423-3470. Or for emergencies, you can call 256-740-4800. Stanley Page and the staff at Gatlin's Pharmacy can help save you money. Give them a call see if they can save you money. 662-438-6605. Gatlin's Pharmacy is Health Mart Pharmacy in downtown Tisha Mingo. Today's game also brought to you by MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, Safety Apparel, Vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, and earplugs, made and sold in Belmont, 1-800-647-8168. State Farm Insurance Agent Boyce Hollingsworth can, uh, of course, handle all your insurance needs, auto, home, life, health, and retirement. Come see Boyce, your State Farm Agent, 662-423-5931. He's at 214 East Quitman Street in Iuka. All right, second quarter action coming your way. Lady Braves will have their starting five back on the floor. The Katie Powers, Clara Garland, Madison Bennett, Mara Nunley, and Campbell Holly. Lady Vols have the first possession of the period. It's into the hands of Marin Shy, number two. Leading scores for both teams. Of course, Katie Powers with six for the Lady Braves, two points apiece for O'Neill and Wood for Starkville Academy. Lady Vols trying to drive inside, and we've got a jump ball. Great call there. And the possession arrow gives it to Tishomingo County. So a turnover on the Lady Volunteers. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply. Of course, safety apparel, glasses, custom signs and decals, and banners over 40 years of experience. Call 1-800-647-8168. That's MTS in Belmont. Campbell Holly, jumper now, no good. Rebound controlled by Starkville Academy's Marin Shy. Lady Vols bringing the ball down the floor now. Looks like they've got three players on their bench tonight, so a thin roster for Starkville Academy. Lady Vols trailing 15 to 4, but by the minute into the second period of play. Number two, Marin Shy lost it for a moment, picks up her dribble, gives it off to Fallon Parker, number 12. And now we've got a timeout, Starkville Academy. We'll take it with them. 7 01 to go in the opening, uh, pardon me, in the second period of play. This is a full timeout with a score to Shemingo County 15, Starkville Academy 4, though neither team has scored so far here in the second period of play. We are 30 minutes on our broadcast coverage of Tishomingo County Basketball. Thank you for being here with us. The 18 with Blake Long, Randall Lindsay. Two great nights of basketball ahead for us. Of course, we got Starkville Academy tonight. Ripley in town tomorrow night. Go ahead and make your plans to be in this very building for two critical Division I 4A matchups. So this time on the floor brought to you by B&J Supermarket in Burnsville, Highway 360 Foul South in Burnsville. Fresh produce, awesome meat, dairy department. They accept your Visa, MasterCard, and EBT food stamps. Thanks to Josh McNatt. He's your new Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk. Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick. Try their best to meet your high reach needs. Trimming and removing trees, debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning sure steeples as well. All done in a professional manner, 662-279-7500. And also a big thanks as well to the IU Monument Company, highest quality at a reasonable price, 662-423-3203. Also by Mack Wyman, your Tishomingo County Coroner. 
Back to action, Starkville Academy inbounds the basketball at the time. Stripman brings it back across into the hands of number 11, Lily Alp. She gets a screen there from Caroline Wood. Her shot wild, no good. Rebound out of bounds, and we're going to give it to Shemingo County. Nunley, Tricky Company on the broadcast. That's Herman and Darren Nunley. Their entire staff, 662-424-0080. Bowers, back to Bennett. Holly. Lady Ray's patient on offense tonight. Maybe not going to have the fast pace they sometimes do, like saving the legs for tomorrow night. Nice pass inside to Garland, in and good. Mar Nunley with a beautiful dish. And Clara Garland finishes the play. First two points of the game for the tall sophomore Clara Garland. 17 to 4 now. Lady Braves leading for a minute and a half into the second period. Now Alp, contested shot, no good off the rim twice. Wood gets the offensive rebound, put back, no good. And Madison Bennett, the rebound for Tishomingo County. Bennett now to Nunley. Nunley over to Holly. Holly inside to Garland. Shot up in and good. Clara Garland back to back buckets. This time the assist goes to Campbell Holly and gives the Lady Braves a 19 to 4 advantage here. They're pulling away in this second period of competition. Now, Steele, Katie Powers got a hand on it and goes into the hands of Madison Bennett. She'll take it to the hoop and lay it in and good. And another timeout here by Starkville Academy. We'll once again take it with them to give you some more of our great sponsors. 5.43 to go in the second period of play. The score to Shemingo County, 21. Starkville Academy, 4. And we've got a full timeout on the court. Tonight's game brought to you by Burnsville Tire. Ethan Morris, your owner at 246 Highway 72 West End, Burnsville. Home of free lifetime rotations with the purchase of four tires. Of course, it's also the home of certified advanced alignment front end technicians as well. Randall's got a little jig in his step right now. Got a little jingle bell rock playing over the intercom system. We're a week, less than a week away from Christmas. How about that? Hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas holiday coming up next Wednesday. With some great basketball to go through before then. So last game also brought to you by Ready Mix Low 25 North and Iuka 662-423-6238. Don't forget they've got uh, gutter splash blocks, military stones, stepping stones, and pet monuments as well. Hyrule Parts and Supply, your Craig Quest dealer at 1102 West Whitman Street in Iuka. Stop by and Chad and his staff take care of your parts and supply needs. Call 662-423-9892 for more information. Also, thanks to Tiffin Motor Homes of Red Bay, Belmont, and Iuka featuring those great Allegro homes. All right, here we go, back to action. Lady Volunteers will have the basketball out of the timeout in front of their own bench, and here we go. Lady Bray's going to retreat on defense a bit here as Powers will guard Alp continuously. Or once again, I should say, now pass inside. Ball's lost on the floor. Nunley on the ground. Also, Parker for Starkville Academy now out for a long two, I believe. No good. Rebound to Mar Nunley in Tishomingo County. Nunley brings it down the court into the hands of Campbell Holly. She'll take a dribble, go inside to Garland, but she missed the pass. A turnover on the Lady Braves, stolen away by number 11, Lily Alp. Now her pass sails high of her intended receiver, Abby O'Neill, another turnover in Starkville Academy. Same score as before the timeout, 21-4, 5-11 to go before our halftime break. Tonight's game also brought to you by Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Home owned, home operated your hometown pizza. Open daily, 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. with a Monday through Friday lunch buffet from 11 to 1 and a Sunday buffet from 11 until 2. The buffet includes pizza, pasta, salad, and a drink at Hometown Pizza in Burnsville. But its shot is up and no good. She saves the rebound, but it goes into the hand of Starkville Academy's Lily Alp. So it will be Lady Vol basketball hitting up the floor now. Long two on the way. Low percentage shot, and it's no good off the hand of Fallon Parker. Rebound finally chased down. I believe it's Katie Powers with the basketball. She moves the ball up the floor very quickly. Nunley wide open for three. No good. Lady Ray still not hit a three-point field goal in this contest. Rebound to Starkville Academy. Lady Vols. That's Parker once again. Missed that long two moments ago. Into the hands now of Marion Shy. Shy weighing her options patiently for Starkville Academy. No count. And there was a count apparently. There's a five-second violation. I did not see the physical hand motion, but the official there had the five-second call. And it was a good call at that. She certainly had not dribbled within a five-second window. So turnover on Starkville Academy. It'll be to Shemingo County Basketball. Piggly Wiggly by Yucca Belmont and Red Bay have the lowest prices, hometown friendly service. There's Bennett inside the lane, jumper no good, rebound out of bounds, should be to Shemingo County ball. 
I believe it was a uh, fight for the rebound there between Garland and Wood, and Wood ended up batting it out of bounds. It will be Lady Brave ball. Nunley to trigger the ball inbound for Tishomingo County. Into Powers. Now Nunley with it. She'll go inside with the left hand. Contested shot. No good. Rebound. Garland. Her putback is in and good. Clara Garland stepped on the opposite side of the rim. Got the rebound. Got the easy two. Lady Braves now lead 23-4. to four. Past the halfway point now of this second period from the campus of Tishomingo County High School. Now still Madison Bennett. She's been good on the defensive end. Gets it up to Mara Nunley. Nice pass to Powers. Layup no good though. Rebound goes to Marin Shy of Starkville Academy. By the way, haven't been on the air since the good news for Katie Powers. Congratulations to Katie. Of course, she signed with Freed Hardeman over the last week or so, maybe a little bit more than a week now. So congratulations, well deserved. Freed Hardeman, an outstanding school, of course, affiliated with the Church of Christ, and we are incredibly proud of Katie and her accomplishments. And we got a foul on the floor now. I believe this will go against Kimball Holly. That indeed is the case, and for Campbell Holly, her second personal team foul number three. And guess what? Here come the five subs back in the game for the Lady Race. Same five that rotated in moments ago. We've got Briley Hill, Adney Floyd, Jayla Brown, and also uh, number four, Lexi Kennedy, and number 15, Ashley Booker, all checking in for Brian Middleton and the Lady Braves. Inbounds play goes to Wood for Starkville Academy. Now into the hands of Alp. Again, we hope we're saying her name right. It's A-L-P-E. Oh, definitely an assumption there. Now over to number two, Marin Shy. Randall serenading us with Christmas music as well. During the, we may let him sing to you during the halftime break. Alp, may got away with a the traveling there. Now short jumper in and good off the hand of number three, Abby O'Neill. First points of the period for Starkville Academy come with the 250 mark here. It's now 23 to six, and Abby O'Neill has four of the six for Starkville Academy. Crowley Hill. Over to Jayla Brown. Brown to the hoop. No good on the shot. Rebound. Loose controlled now by Abby O'Neill in the Lady Vols. Explore liquidation in Belmont. You're home for bargains. All merchandise from name brand retailers. You can save 50 to 75% off daily. And also don't forget their eBay store as well. Search for Explore Liquidation in e on eBay. Pardon me. Also tonight's game brought to you by Grace Long Rizic, and They can help you sell your home. Give Grace and her crew a call. I can promise you they'll work hard for you. 662 Four, two, three, fifty-five, fifty-five. Shot up from Alp is no good. Rebound to the Lady Braves as we toil on here in the second period of play. Twenty-three to six is your score. Kennedy with the basketball, nearly tied up there by Alp, and now back out to Bradley Hill near the time striper. Pass goes to Ashley Booker. Booker drives inside the lane. Shot up in and good. Got it off the glass there, and Ashley Booker gets the two points. Score now twenty-five-six in favor of the. Lady Braves with under two minutes to go now before halftime. And now what do we have here? An offensive foul. And the charge is taken there by Briley Hill. Uh, we did not have the signal on the foul. And it should be here when the official's going to get together. They never signaled in who the foul was on. And I'm not certain either of them fully know. And they gave a verbal signal. Thankfully, they're going to post it on the scoreboard. And we're going to wait on that. I think it may have been on 24. Nope, they're going to give it to number 12, Fallon Parker. So even I, it, it didn't pass my mind to see who uh, took the charge. I just saw Bradley Hill taking the charge. Um, so the foul will be on Fallon Parker, her first, team fifth here as we roll on with 90 seconds to go in our first half. Booker inside again, shot up in and good. Booker's got the hot hand late. Four in a row for Ashley Booker. Lady Rays lead 27 to six. Their largest lead of the contest is 21 points with 80 seconds to go. Starkville Academy now ahead to number three. And now Steele. It was O'Neill's pass stolen away by Lexi Kennedy. Here come the Lady Braves. Quickly ahead now to Adney Floyd. Floyd. Takes one dribble, gives it over to Kennedy. Kennedy will drive inside. Short jumper, no good. Doesn't get the home court roll. Rebound goes to Caroline Wood for Starkville Academy. There goes the Lady Vols. Pass back to number 12, Fallon Parker. Now over to number two, Marin Shy. Shy giving it off to O'Neill. Parker now to Caroline Wood. 40 seconds to go, opening half, 27-6 Lady Braves, and now foul on the floor. A good call there, should go against Adney Floyd, and that's her second. 
team fourth. So Lady Braves have committed four fouls. And that's two apiece against Kimball Holly and Adney Floyd. Today's game is brought to you by h Block and IU Red Bay and Fulton. Of course, they are your tax professionals. Inbounds play to number two, Marin Shy. Jumper on the way in and good. That's number 12, Fallon Parker, her first points of the contest. Deficit now for Starkville Academy is 27-8. We've got 20 seconds to go for halftime. Let's see if the Lady Braves like to hold for the final shot. Booker over to Hill. 15 seconds now, 14. Over to number 21, Adney Floyd. 10 seconds now, 9. Eight. They're going to try to go inside to Dale LeBron and it's stolen away. Turn around the Lady Braves under the hands of Abby O'Neill. Two seconds, one second, zero. They will get a shot off. It'll count if it goes. And it's off the glass and off the rim and no good. And your halftime scores to Shemingo County 27, Starkville Academy 8. 27 8 in favor of the Lady Braves. Let's go ahead and do our halftime stats. Brought to you by Sid Whitehurst and Sid's Ready Company. If you've got a bush shock, a mower dig, get it at Sid's. Call 662-205-6469. They're just past the campus of Tishman County High School at 617 Highway 72. They've got those security tractors and skag mowers. All right, your halftime stats. Tishomingo County leading this one 27-8. At the halftime break, your leading scorer, Clara Garland, with six points. Katie Powers also with six there. Your co-leading scores at halftime for Tishomingo County. Following them, two, uh, four points apiece for the duo of Ashley Booker and Madison Bennett. Two points for the trio of Lexi Kennedy, Mara Nunley, and Briley Hill. And then one point for Campbell Holly. That's a total of 27 in the first half. Of note, Lady Rays did not make a three-point basket. Didn't need to. They built a very comfortable lead without uh, needing all that. Startville Academy, eight total points for those to Abby O'Neill, then two apiece to Fallon Parker and Caroline Wood. A total of eight at the halftime. Breaking your halftime stats once again brought to you by Ronnie Cook and Water Room of America. Modern Woodman offers financial services and also fraternal and member benefits to individuals and families throughout the United States. Serving your community, you can call Ronnie Cook at 662-423-8477 to start the conversation. That is Modern Woman of America on the web at modern-woodman.org. Halftime score here from Iuka, Tishomingo County, leading Starkville Academy 27-8. This is WRMG TV 12, TV 97, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Well, old Randall and I hate to see halftime in. We were enjoying a little dessert at halftime. Uh, we exchanged a little Christmas gifts with each other tonight, and my uh, mother-in-law made Randall some outstanding banana pudding. And Randall's folks got me some nice peanut butter cookies with some white icing on top. And I tell you, I can, I can vouch for both of them because the banana pudding my mother-in-law makes is the best in the world. But those cookies were just absolutely so. Thank you, Randall, for the great gifts. Um, yeah, I <laughs> know. We both thought about taking the second half off and just enjoying our desserts, but we're, we're going to go ahead and broadcast basketball and get back to the action as Powers gets the first points of the uh, second half for the Lady Braves, and it's going to be Tishomingo County basketball here, another steal for the Lady Braves. If you're just now tuning in, Lady Braves uh, had a 27-8 halftime lead. It's now 29-8, and, of course, we've got MSU president Dr. Mark Keenum in the building, a Northeast alum, former Northeast Tiger football player, by the way. Nunley for three, and the three-point sh cold shooting continues. An air ball for Nunley. Sure hope we can get that corrected before tomorrow night's big matchup with Ripley. Here's the shot up on the other end. No good off the hand of Alp. Garland didn't block it, but she certainly altered the shot. And the rebound goes to Tishomingo County. Bennett fakes a shot, goes inside the lane. Jumper, no good off the front of the iron. Nunley offensive rebound, and she's found the putback. And count the basket and one. Let's see where the foul is on. Number two for Starkville Academy. That's Marin Shy. Her first. That's the first whistle of, on either team here in the second half. Count the basket 31 to 8. We're going to shoot one free throw here. And the free throw is up, and it is in and good. That was the first goal of the game for Nunley. He's also now three for three at the free throw line. Give her five points. Lady Braves lead is now 32 to 8 as we toil on here in the third quarter. Seven minutes to go in the third. Got another near steal, number 12 of the basketball, Fallon Parker. Parker over to Shy. Shy now to Caroline Wood. Wood, bounce pass over to Alp. Alp for three, no good off the front iron. Rebound. Katie Powers brings it in for Tishman County, the freed Hardeman signee. Here's Mara Nunley, inside shot up, partially blocked maybe. Rebound loose goes to number 11, Lily Alp for Starkville Academy. Again, as always, our guys' action will. Uh, follow this one here on WRMG. Here's a shot up, no good off the hand of Fallon Parker. Nobody touched it, it'll be out of bounds to Shemingo County basketball. 
Today's game brought to you by Belmont Chiropractic to Chris Mosh, your hometown of chiropractic specialist. Serving Belmont and surrounding areas since 19. And yet also by Daly's Body Shop and Towing in Burnsville, 15 Yellow Creek Avenue, 662-427-9234. Of course, uh, Daly's can make your car, truck, and SUV make look like new again. Nunley's off the balance shot, no good. Offensive rebound put back is in and good off the hand of number 12, Campbell Holly. Her first field goal of the contest. Lady Braves lead 34 to 8, two minutes in to the second half. Ball ahead to Starkville Academy to number two, Aaron Shy. Caroline Wood saves the possession there for the Lady Vols. Now back into the hands of Shy. Shy has it stolen away. Katie Powers, what a great game defensively for Katie Powers. Of course, that's her trademark. She goes coast to coast. Short jumper, no good. If it's a real putback, is good. There's Campbell Holly once again. Back to back buckets for her. She's got five in the ball game to Shemingo County, 36, Starkville Academy, eight. Two and a half minutes into the second half. Now another steal. There's Mara Nunley. Nunley trying to go coast to coast. Shot up, no good. Bennett the rebound. And she's fouled on the putback. Two free throws coming here for Madison Bennett. Foul goes against number three, Abby O'Neill, her second, team second. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Another full timeout by Starkville Academy. And we'll take it with them with 5.20 to go in the third period of play. Your score is Tishomingo County 36, Starkville Academy 8. And the Lady Braves will be at the free throw line when we return. Today's game brought to you by D&D Equipment, D&D Rental of Iuka Rent Small Construction Equipment, and a wide variety of hand tools at 493 County Road 169, 662-423-8283. Also, the Tishomingo County Electric Power Association, a member of TVAZ program. They'll come in and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, you may call 662-423-3646. Gina McNass also sponsoring tonight's game. She's your Tishomingo County tax collector. Thanks to Hometown Pizza and Iuka, They've got the 20-inch party pizza. Their hours Saturday through Wednesday, 3 to 9, and Thursday and Friday, 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. They carry at location only. Give Brittany the crew a call. They'll get it ready for you, 665-93-3036. Iuka Discount and Drugs, Pharmacy, Driving Window, Medication, Synchronization. Our friends Chris Clinius and Kurt Butler, they're for the entire staff, 662-423-9039. Donald Ray Thomas, your South End Constable, Tishomingo County. Sponsoring tonight's broadcast. Also, Northeast Mississippi Community College, spring semester registration on Going right now, 662, uh, pardon me, the phone number is 1-800-555-2154. Or you can visit nemcc.edu. Peyton Cummings also sponsored tonight's broadcast. Your Tishomingo County Chancellor Clerk and also David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County Tax Assessor, also on our broadcast this evening. Back to the action now as Bennett makes her first free throw. Second is on the way, and it's no good. Rebound, guess what? It's tipped out of bounds. Bennett nearly had it, and we're going to stay here. Yep, Tishomingo County basketball ended up being tipped out by, I believe that's Alp for... Starkville Academy. So Starkville Academy is yet to sub a player in the game, by the way. They've played a full, uh, let's see, that'd be 16 plus minutes now for the uh, five sum of Marion Shy, Abby O'Neill, Lily Alp, Fallon Parker, and Caroline Wood. Three players on the bench for Starkville Academy, and that is uh, number 20, Mary Phillips Keenum, 21, Katie Keenum, and number 15, Arden Parker. So that's the three on the bench this game for Starkville Academy. Here's the three on the way off the hands of O'Neill. No good. Katie Powers the rebound for Tishomingo County. Here's Powers. Going to try to go coast to coast. She lost it, though. And it's a steal, a steal by Caroline Wood and Starkville Academy. A turnover on Powers. Starkville Academy thought about a three. Did Fallon Parker. She's tried a couple in the game now. A turnover. And her pass stolen away by Mara Nunley. Ahead to Bennett. And it's in and good. An easy snowbird layup there from Madison Bennett. The assist goes to Mara Nunley. And Bennett now with seven points in the game. That's the most, uh, pardon me, not the most of any Lady Brave. Katie Powers has eight to lead the Lady Braves. Score now 39-8. And in the next dead ball, we'll have a fresh five in the game for Tishomingo County. Now Nunley, she gets the steal. Stolen away from Abby O'Neill. Coast to coast, Snowbird in and good. Mara Nunley, she's got seven now. And five of that coming here in the third quarter alone. Score 41 to eight. Starkville Academy yet to score in the period where four minutes in. That brave defense uh, just die no mind. We've got a whistle and a block foul. And this one should go against Tishomingo County. We'll go against number 42, Clara Garland. Her first, team first of the second half. We're going to shoot two free throws here for Starkville Academy. Their first free throw attempts of the game will go to Marin Shy. Today's game brought to you by 
the Ike Animal Clinic. There's James Perkins and his staff at Highway 25 South Healthcare Grooming and Boarding for your pets. 662-423-3470. For emergencies, you may call 256-740-4800. Okay, here come the fresh five in the game for Tishomingo County. It'll be uh, Adney Floyd, number 21. Same five as the last time. Number four, Lexi Kennedy, 15. Ashley Booker, 25. Jayla Brown, or 24. Briley Hill. Shy makes the back end of the two-shot violation, so the first point of the uh, third quarter for Starkville Academy comes at the 3.55 mark. The score 41-9 to now. Lady Raves comfortably ahead. Uh, we've got about, let's see, uh, 12 minutes left in the ballgame. Kennedy over to Briley Hill. Hill inside now to Jayla Brown. She lost it. We've got a jump ball. Possession arrow, I believe, should keep it here with Tishomingo County. Okay, that's indeed the case. Lady Raves will inbound underneath their own basket. Today's game brought to you by Gatlin's Pharmacy. See the pharmacist you know and trust Stanley Page. See if he can save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy. Your health one pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605. Now we got a traveling violation on the Lady Braves. Turnover on Tishomingo County, Starkville Academy basketball. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, safety apparel vests, T-shirts, stitch glasses, and earplugs made and sold in Belmont, 1-800-647-8168. State Farm Insurance Agent Boyce Hollingsworth. On the broadcast as well, 214 East Equipment Street, Nyuka, full service insurance, auto, home, life, health, and retirement. His phone number is 662-423-5931. Here's a running jumper off the back iron from Abby O'Neill. Nice rebound there from number 24, Bradley Hill, for Tishomingo County. Floyd over to Kennedy. Kennedy, her pass stolen away by number 11, Lily Alp. And here come the Lady Vols of Starkville Academy with three minutes to go in the third period. 41-9, the score still in favor of the Lady Braves. Wood over to O'Neill. Pass inside. We've got a foul. You can call it on the floor, and I think Adney Floyd just picked up her third. That's indeed the case. Foul going against number 21, Adney Floyd, her third, team second. She's the only Lady Brave in real foul trouble, to be honest. Uh, Campbell Holly does have two. Garland has one. Only six total fouls in the game so far for the Lady Braves. Really good. There's a three from Shy. No good. Rebound loose. Picked up by Adney Floyd for Tishomingo County. Good shot there and saw Coach Bill Ball for Starkville Academy clap his hands there. Just came up with an empty uh, possession there. Get the Lady Vols. Booker now to number 24 Briley Hill. Hill now finally into the hands of Lex Kennedy. Back to Hill. Hill. They're trying to feed Jayla Brown inside and a good job there. It's out. It's gotten multiple seals since the second crew has come in the game for Coach Brian Middleton. Now the Lady Braves will inbound underneath their own basket. It'll be Booker to trigger the ball. Inbounds play will go into the backcourt, and Andy Floyd will retrieve it for the Lady Braves. BJ Supermarket in Burns, Highway 365 South Healthcare, uh, part of me, open seven days a week at hometown store for the price of low 52 weeks every single year. Again, thanks to BJ's sponsoring our broadcast tonight. Here's the foul on Starkville Academy, number 12, Fallon Parker, her second, team third. Two free throws coming here for number 25, Jayla Brown, looking for her first points of the contest. And she'll get her first. Free throw in and good for Jayla Brown. Josh Magnat, your new Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk, sponsoring our broadcast. Also, Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brendan, Dustin, Dick. Try their best of your high reach needs, trimming and removing trees, debris, removal, well stump grinding, cleaning church steeples, all done in a professional manner. 662 279 7500. Thank you, Triple D's. Jayla Brown makes her second free throw as well. Her first points of the contest 43 9. Now the score. And inside to Wood, nice shot there, in and good. Give the assist to Alp. Caroline Wood, her fourth point of the contest. The score now to Shemingo County, 43, Starkville Academy, 11. Two minutes on the dot to go in the third period. Floyd over to Hill. Kennedy, pass batted, but it goes in the hands of Floyd. Her layup is in and good. Give the assist to Kennedy. And two points to Adney Floyd. Now let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lady Braves have scored, and that's all ten, I believe, that have been in the game tonight for, uh, pardon me, no, Brianna Lowry has also been in the game, and she has not scored yet. So ten of the eleven Lady Braves that have played have scored in tonight's game. With 90 seconds to go now, Lady Braves coming down the offensive end of the floor, leading 45 to 11. Booker over to Floyd. Floyd to Bradley Hill. Hill looking for Brown. Now back out to Floyd. Floyd with the left hand back into the corner to Bradley Hill. Will feed Brown inside, hot pass, and it's stolen away. There's Alp once again. Now with the left hand, brings them to the front courts. 
Now pass over and a wide open three in the way from Fallon Parker. It's no good. Rebound will go out of bounds. Not touched by anybody. It'll be Tissue Mingle County basketball with 1-0-1 to go in the third period. Hey, today's game is being brought to you by the IUQ Monument Company, the highest quality at a reasonable price, 662-423-3203. And also by Mac Wildman. He's your Tissue Mingo County quarter. Not only Chucky Company as well, Herman and Darren Lilly, their entire staff. Their phone number is 662-424-0080. 50 seconds to go, 45-11 Lady Braves, third quarter of play here. Brown lost the ball into the hands of Booker, her three on the way in and good. There's the first three of the game at 40 seconds to go in the third period. And it's Ashley Booker, she's got seven here in the ball game. Lady Braves lead is 48-11, 30 seconds to go in the third. Wood, back to Alp. She'll drive inside, put oh, nice pass inside, shot is up in and good. Give Alp the assist, a nice pass at that. To Abby O'Neill, she's got a team high six points for Starkville Academy, and the score is 48 to 13. Hill with 10 seconds to go. Brown going to drive to the hoop, her layup in and good. Jayla Brown assisted by Briley Hill. Four points for Brown, her first field goal of the game. We got two seconds, one second, and Starkville Academy's not going to get a shot off. That will be the end of the period. The score 50 to 13 in favor of the Lady Braves, and a great period. By Tishomingo County, they score, if my calculations are correct, 23 points compared to five for Starkville Academy. Five, nine, 13, that's correct. 23 to five. The Lady Braves outscore Starkville Academy in this third period to take a decisive 15 13 lead over the Lady Vols. A little Mariah Carey in the background. Randall's bobbing that head once again. Got the old uh, tacky sweaters on, do the Brave Vets, cheerleaders in the building as well. A great night of activities here at Tishomingo County High School. Fourth quarter action coming up next, brought to you by Burnsville Tire. Ethan Morris is your owner. to stock a variety of passenger and light truck tires from top brands like Mastercraft, Firestone, and Goodyear. For information, you may call 662-427-930 to stop by Burnsville Tire at 246 Highway 72 West in Burnsville. Millie Ready Mix, low 25 North and Iuka, 662-423-6238 with mulch, landscaping, rock curb stops, and much more. Harwell Park, supply your Kirk West dealer. And I, you can see 1102 West Equipment Street. Stop by the chat and his staff take care of your parts and supply needs. 662-423-9892. TFN Motor Homes of Red Bay Belmont and Yuka featuring those great Allegro homes on the broadcast tonight. Also, Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Home owned, home operated your hometown pizza. 662-360-4019 for carry out orders. Explore the liquidation in Belmont. Your home for bargains, Mike Stockton and Jada Pitts, of course, your president and manager of Explore Liquidation. You can find mattresses at the lowest prices around with living room, bedroom, and dining room furniture, tools, cool gel pillows, and much more. You can take Highway 20 South to Dickinson Road across from Tiffin's entrance. That's in Belmont, Explore Liquidation. Piggly Wiggly by Yucca, Belmont, and Red Bay has the lowest prices and hometown-friendly service. Grace Long Real Estate can help you sell your home, 662-423-5555. Grace and her staff will work hard for you. And also, fourth quarter action brought to you by h and Block and Iuka Red Bay and Fulton. Of course, they are your tax professionals. We are underway here in the fourth quarter of action. Lady Braves with a comfortable lead, now a foul. And guess what? That's Adney Floyd's fourth. Not that it matters in a, uh, in a game such as this, but nonetheless, Adney Floyd picks up her fourth personal. Team foul number three against the Lady Braves here in the second half. She'll stay in the game at, up to this juncture at the very least. It will be that uh, same group that ended the third quarter on the floor for the Lady Braves. Number four, Lexi Kennedy. And she nearly gets a steal there. Number 15, Ashley Booker. 21, Adney Floyd. 24, Briley Hill. And number 25, Jayla Brown. Starkville Academy, of course, their same five. They've played the entire game on the floor. The running jumper from Abby O'Neill. No good. Rebound, Jayla Brown, Tishomingo County. Number 15, Booker. Booker over to Hill. Hill going to go inside the lane to Adney Floyd. And shot no good, probably partially blocked. We got a jump ball in possession there. Should give it to Tishomingo County. Lady Braves will inbound underneath their own uh, basket, pardon me, with 7.13 to go in the ball game. Sid Whitehurst, Sid Shirley Company, sponsoring tonight's game. If you've got a bush shuck more dig, you can get it at Sid's. 662-205-6469 is past the campus of Tishomingo County High School. At 617 Highway 72, don't forget their Curity tractors, Skag mowers, bush hog zero turn mowers. They're also your home for the Landmaster Utility Vehicle, and you're, they're your Branson Tractor Dealer as well for this area. Got a foul on the inbounds play. We'll go against Starkville Academy, number 12, Fallon Parker. Her third, team fourth, 
at the free throw line for Tisha Mingo County, number 25, Jayla Brown. She's two for two at the free throw line so far tonight. First free throw in and good this time. Five points now for Jayla Brown. Founded in 1883, Modern Woman offers financial services and also member benefits to individuals and families throughout the United States. For more information, call Ronnie Cook at 662-423-8477. That's Modern Woman of America, touching lives and securing futures. As Brown makes the second free throw, 52-13 is now the score in favor of the Lady Rays. Seven minutes to go in this contest, and we'll have another new five coming in the game momentarily for the Lady Rays. Now should be a foul against Starkville Academy. After the steal, and that's indeed the case. Foul goes against number 12. Fallon Parker, that's her fourth, team fifth. And now we'll see uh, five new players into the game for Tishomingo County. Playing for the first time tonight will be number one, Callie Ham. Number 34, Molly Powers. Also number 13, that's Ainsley Fair. 33 is Aubrey Lambert. And number 10 is Grayson Reese. So these five new players on the floor, first time they've seen action tonight. Now before the three, a, yep, a traveling violation, turnover on the Lady Braves. It'll be Starkville Academy basketball, 6.46 to go in the game. 52-13 is your score. As we tell you, today's game brought to you by Belmont Chiropractic. It's Chris Moss, your hometown chiropractic specialist serving Belmont and surrounding areas since 1998. Starkville Academy on the offensive end. Have not scored yet in the fourth period of play. We're a minute and a half into this fourth and final period. Nice defense by the Lady Braves. Good defense on particularly there, Molly Powers. Here's a three on the way. It's no good long off the hand of Alp, and the rebound goes to the Lady Braves. Nice move inside there with the shot no good from Callie Ham. Rebounds to Alp for Starkville Academy. Clock rolls on, six minutes to go in the ball game. Here's a three on the way once again from Starkville Academy. Once again, long off the hand of Marin Shy. Goes out of bounds. Nobody touched it. It'll be Lady Brave basketball. Daly's Body Shop and Towing, James Daly, your owner at 15 Miller Creek Avenue in Burnsville, 662-427-9234. You make your car, truck, and SUV look like new again. Number one, Ham. We'll go inside, running layup, and we've got a foul. Two free throws coming here for Ansley Fair. And let's see who the foul is on. Should be number 24, I believe, Caroline Wood. And that's her third, team six. Two free throws coming here for Ainsley Fair. First one is up and it is no good. Fair would be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, she'd be the 11th Lady Brave to score in this game. Here's the second free throw. It's off the front iron and no good. Rebound, loose, picked up by the Lady Braves and we've got a double dribble call before the foul. 33, Aubrey Lambert got pushed to the ground, but they're going to say before that, the double dribble turnover on the Lady Braves. If you're just tuning in to Shemingle County in control here. This one, 52-13. Starkville Academy, the opponent here this evening. And we've got a foul before the jump ball. And we're going to give a foul to Shemingle County, number one, Callie Ham, her first team fourth here of the second half. 528 to go in the ball game. D&D Rental of IU can rent small construction equipment and a wide variety of hand tools at 493 County Road 169, 662-423-8283. Lady Vols back with possession after the foul on Tishomingo County. You now a wild shot up, no good, but there is a foul. Should result in free throws. The foul registered to number 13 for Tishomingo County. Ensley Fair, her first, team fifth. And stepping to the free throw line will be number three, Abby O'Neill. She's got a team high six points and can build on that with two free throws. The clock stopped at 5.20 to go. First free throw in and good. One more free throw coming up here. First point of the fourth quarter for Starkville Academy. 5.20 to go in the ball game. Second free throw is now up, and it is true as well. Abby O'Neill now with eight points. That's tied for a game high with Katie Powers, and I doubt we see Powers again the rest of this game. 5-14 to go. 52-15 is your score. Shot is up. No good off the hand of Ansley Fair. They've got a putback by number 10. Grayson Reese is no good, but she is fouled, and that will be the end of the night for Fallon Parker. If I... Actions are correct, and we will see, and, and there it is. There's the horn. That is the fifth foul on Fallon Parker. 
official from Mr. Mikey Shea, your scorebook keeper. She has fouled out of the game. And here now, the first sub of the game for Starkville Academy. It'll be number 15, Arden Parker. So Parker steps into the contest. And uh, Parker, uh, Arden Parker will replace Fallon Parker. Fallon Parker fouls out with two points in the game. First free throw for Grayson Reese is no good. Second free throw coming up. And it is no good as well. Rebound Caroline Wood for Starkville Academy. Hey, today's game brought to you by the Tissue Mutant Electric Power Association. They're still offering a rebate on hot water heaters from gas to electric and electric to electric. They're focused on providing uh, efficient, reliable service to all TCEPA members. For information, you can call 662-423-3646. Lady Vols into the hands of Arden Parker, who just checked into the ball game. Now over to number 11, Lily Alp. Parker trying to drive inside on number one, Kelly Ham Had to go back out, and now a steal. Number 13, Angela Fair gets possession of the basketball for the Lady Braves. Here comes Tishomingo County. Ham inside her shot blocked, but we got a foul. Two free throws coming for Tishomingo County. Foul go against Starkville Academy. Number 24, Caroline Wood. That's her fourth. Team eight. So Kelly Ham to the free throw line for the first time. Lady Braves have missed their last four free throw attempts. Here's the shot, and it is no good. All right, two subs in the game now for the Lady Braves. Number two, Brianna Lowry checks in for the second time today, and also for the first time, we've got 32, but I don't have a 32 on my roster, so uh, we'll have to get you her name uh, later. So my apologies on that one. Second free throw is no good. Rebound to Starkville Academy as the clock rolls on here. We're approximately midway through the fourth and final period of regulation. 52-15 the score. Tishomingo County about to make their winning streak 10 in a row. Parker in and out of the hands there. O'Neill forced error on Starkville Academy will result in a turnover in Tishomingo County basketball. Hey, today's game brought to you by Gina McNatt. She's your Tishomingo County tax collector. And also by Hometown Pizza, NIUCA 621 Battleground Drive. Don't forget that 20-inch party pizza. And also, oppositely, they've got a crustless pizza for diners and like so much bread. My number is 662-593-3036. A carry location only in IUCA Hometown Pizza. Lady Braves driving inside with number 10. Grayson Reese back out now to Ham. Thought about a three. Now back to Reese. Clock winding on here. Shot is up. No good, but we're going to have free throws coming for Tishomingo County. The foul goes against Starkville Academy number 15, Arden Parker. Her first team night, and it will result in free throws. Here comes... New subs in the game. Here comes Mary Phillips Keenum, number 20, and number 21, Katie Keenum for Starkville Academy. They will replace number 11, Lily Alp, and also number 24, Caroline Wood. 53-15 the score. Second free throw is in and good as well. All right, inbounds play for Tishomingo County, and the Lady Braves are going to get three new players in the next dead ball as well. Hey, today's game brought to you by You Can Discount Drugs, Pharmacy Gifts, Drive Window, and Medication Synchronization, 662 423 9039. And now we've got a blocking foul on the Lady Braves. <clears throat> be the sixth team foul against Tishomingo County. And it will be charged to number 33, Aubrey Lambert, her first personal of the game. And now coming back in the game for the Lady Braves will be number four, Lexi Kennedy, and also number 13, Ainsley Fair, and 34, uh, that is Molly Powers. Ball into the game, into the hands of number 21, Katie Keenum. Ball goes out of bounds. It will still be Starkville Academy basketball. 54-15, your score, 3.28 to go in this ball game. Fallon Ray Thomas, Southern Constable, Tishomingo County, sponsoring tonight's broadcast, and also Northeast Mississippi Community College. Of course, Northeast is leading the way with technology in the classroom, health and fitness initiative, and honors college, and so much more, including that brand new Field of Dreams complex opening this spring. For more information, you may call 1 800 555 2154 or visit nemcc.edu or nemccathletics.com. A shot blocked by Starkville Academy. The shot was by Kennedy. And the block registered to number three, Abby O'Neill. And she's got the ball right now for Starkville Academy. Under three minutes to go in this basketball affair. Now a foul on Tishman County will result in free throws. Goes against number two, Brianna Lowry. 
her first team seventh. Let's do one and one here for Starkville Academy at the free throw line will be number three, Abby O'Neill. She could give herself a game high in points if she can make this first free throw. She's two for two on the night so far. Peyton Cummings, your Tisha Mingo County Chancery Clerk, sponsor tonight's action. Also, the IU Animal Clinton, there's Dennis Perkins and his crew at Highway 25 South Healthcare Grooming and Boarding for your pets, 662-423-3470. Or for emergencies, you can call 256-740-4800. First free throw in and good. So it will be Abby O'Neill. And uh, barring uh, something out of the ordinary, she will have a game high in points tonight. She could become the first double-digit player in the game with this point right here. It's up and it is good. She will be the first player in double figures with 10 tonight. Abby O'Neill for Starkville Academy. The score now 54-17. The clock running now. 2.45 to go in the fourth period of play. Fair. Over to Kennedy. Kennedy will drive inside. Shot it blocked. And the rebound controlled by number 15, Arden Parker for Starkville Academy. O'Neill bringing the ball up the floor. Today's game brought to you by David Wayne Crum. He's your Tishomingo County Tax Assessor. Also by Gatlin's Pharmacy. See the pharmacist you know and trust Mr. Stanley Page. See if he can save you money. And Gatlin's Pharmacy, your health mall pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo. 662-438-6605. A nice block there by uh, Ansley Fair for Tishomingo County. The ball does go out of bounds. Last touched by Fair. We Lady Vol basketball underneath their own basket. O'Neill. And nearly a five-second call there. She gets it in just in the nick of time, and she will double dribble the basketball. That's number 15. Arden Parker. Here's three more players in the game for the Lady Braves. Back in will be number one, Kelly Ham. 33, Molly, oh, pardon me, Aubrey Lambert. And one more checked in. Let's see, Grayson Reese also back in the game. Number 10 for the Lady Braves. 2-11 to go. 54-17 to Shemingo County, cruising to its 10th consecutive victory. Now the pass goes out of bounds. Callie Ham trying to go to Grayson Reese to pass the touch out of Reese's grasp. Another turnover on Tishomingo County. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, with safety glasses, earplugs, safety apparel, vests, T-shirts, made and sold in Belmont. 1-800-647-8168. Start with the county up. A traveling violation. Great call there. Marin Shy picked up the pivot foot. A turnover on Startville Academy. Lady Brave basketball with 1.45 to go in the game. Hey, today's game brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Agent Boyce Hollingsworth, 214 East Whitman Street in Iuka. Come see Boyce for all your insurance needs. He's your State Farm agent, 662-423-5931. Another traveling violation. Turnover once again on the Lady Braves. 92 seconds to go now in this girls game. As a reminder, stick around for guys action coming up next. Here on your home for the Braves and Lady Braves, WRMG TV, 12 TV. 97. Driving inside for the Lady Vols. Number 15, Parker puts up a shot. No good. Rebound control by the Lady Braves. Here comes to Shemingo County. And a pass out of bounds. Back-to-back -back turnovers. Without, pardon me, not back-to-back -back turnovers. It will be back-to-back -back turnovers for me on the Lady Braves. Back in the game for Tishomingo County. Ainsley Fair, 13. And also Molly Powers, number 34. 1-12 to go in the ball game, 54-17. We've been stuck on that score uh, for a little bit now. Today's game also brought to you by B&J Supermarket in Burnsville, Highway 365 South. Open seven days a week, your hometown store. The price are low, 52 weeks every single year. Also, Josh McNatt, your new Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk, sponsoring tonight's broadcast coverage. Now we've got a foul on the Lady Braves. It'll be registered to number 34, Molly Powers, her first team eighth. And going back to the free throw line will be number three, Abby O'Neill. Once again, this will be a one and one situation. One minute on the dot to go in the ballgame. 54-17, O'Neill looking to add to that. She's got 10 of Starkville Academy's 17 total points. Here's the first free throw, and it is no good. Rebound to Starkville Academy, and we've got a... Uh, out of bounds, and I believe they're going to say the shot was blocked by the Lady Braves. On the offensive rebound was Katie Keenum for Starkville Academy. Inbounds play now. O'Neill will go into number 15. Arden Parker now back up top to Shy. Now to O'Neill. 50 seconds to go. O'Neill puts up a shot. It's in and good. Number three, Abby O'Neill. That's 12 points for her now. She's got four field goals plus four free throws. Lead now 54-19 for the Lady Braves as we play the final 30 plus seconds. Shot up. Count though. I thought that was going to fall. For an and one, but the foul will go against number 21 for Starkville Academy, Katie Keenum. Her first, team 10th, 
So two free throws, the final 30 seconds for the Lady Braves. 33.5, I should be uh, precise. Actually, 33.6, I beg your pardon. And this will be, I believe, Callie Hanback at the free throw line, shooting two. First free throw is up, and in and good. Ham becomes the 12th Lady Brave to score in the ball game. Today's game is brought to you by Triple D's Bucket Service. Our friends Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick, of course, they try the best to meet your high reach needs, trimming and removing trees. Also, at the Brea Mobile Stump Grinding cleaning your steeples as well. All in a professional manner, 662-279-7500 as Ham makes the back end there. 56-19, your score, 30 seconds to go in the ball game. Lady Braves are going to improve on the year to 12-2 and two with 10 straight wins. This goes inside now, stolen away. Now we've got a jump ball, and the possession arrow should give it here to Starkville Academy. That's indeed going to be the case with 18.6 seconds to go. Lady Vol basketball. Today's game also brought to you by the IQ Monument Company, the highest quality at a reasonable price, 662-423-3203. Off-balance shot from O'Neill. Hits nothing. Offensive rebound to Keenum. Keenum loses it, picks it back up, and now we've got a jump ball. And should be the last one of the game. Position here to Shemingo County with 8.1 seconds to go. Lady Braves can simply dribble this one out. We'll finish off the win. And they will clock running. Five seconds, four, three. Lady Braves now 12 and two. Final score to Shemingo County, 56. Starkville Academy, 19. What a great performance defensively by Tishomingo County as they cruise to a 56-19 win ahead of tomorrow's big matchup with Ripley. Lady Braves now have won 10 in a row, dating back over a month to November 14th. Again, your final score, Tishomingo County wins 56-19 over Starkville Academy. We'll pause momentarily. A couple of final stats as that's the stage for the guys game right here on WRMG TV 12, Television 97. Lady Braves, big winners. There you see on your TV screen the Tishomingo County Braves. We are getting ready for our guys' action here. But let's go ahead and recap our women's final stats. Brought to you by Mike Lawman, your Tishomingo County Corner, and by Nunley Trucky Company, Herman, and Darren Nunley, their entire staff, 662-424-0080. We'll get this. I think this is the first time this has happened that I can remember in my tenure at Tishomingo County broadcasting basketball. But no Lady Brave in double figures on my calculations. Katie Powers led the Lady Braves with eight points. Uh, then you had a trio with seven points. Mara Nunley, Ashley Booker, Madison Bennett. Uh, six points for Clara Garland on the first half. Also six points for Jayla Brown. Five points for Campbell Holly. Two for Callie Ham, Lexi Kennedy, uh, Adney Floyd, Briley Hill. Hope we didn't leave anybody off, but that's what I've got. Uh, 56 is the total. And for the Lady Vols of Starkville Academy, Abby O'Neill with 12 of their 19 points. Caroline Wood with four. Fallon Parker with two. Marin Shies one. Now for your sign lines for the guys game. There are your starting lineups. Let's go through them one more time as we always do. First, for the Starkville Academy Volunteers, their head coach, the same as the girls, it will be Mr. Bill Ball. And they will go with these five. Number four, Randall Futrell. Number five, George Delp. Number 11, Dre Frazier. Number 21, Jawan Yarbrough. Number 25, Taylor Ray for Tishomingo <laughs> County. It'll be these five for Coach Craig Daly and his assistants, Rob Barron and Corey Glidewell. Number 34, a senior, Connor Bonds. Number five, a senior, Tanner Moss. 
Junior number 20, Trey Mitchell. Junior number 10, Justin Glidewell. Junior number 11, Eli Sanderson. Coach Daly is not broken from the mold, I believe, all season long when it comes to his starting five. If it is, it was very early in the year. All right, we're ready for our guys action. Again, your final stats for the girls game were brought to you by Burnsville Tire. Ethan Morris, your owner, 246 Highway 72 West. In Burnsville, 662-427-9308. And as we get tonight's guys game underway, we remind you as always you can get a copy of tonight's game on DVD. Contact Jack with Denise Ivy, 662-454-9797, 662-454-9797. Braves will turn it over on their first possession. Opening tip off for the guys game brought to you by a Milligan Ready Mix, low 25 North, in Iuka, 662-423-6238. With Pet Monument, Stepping Stones, Military Stones, among other great items. Also, tonight's game brought to you by Harwell Park. It's by your CarQuest dealer at NIU at 1102 West Equipment Street. Stop by Lachan and his staff take care of your parts at supply needs. Their phone number is 662-423-9892. Here's pass inside, and it's stolen away. Eli Sanderson eventually gets it, but I believe it was Justin Glidewell who got the tip on it for the Braves. Mitchell with a basketball. Over to Glidewell. Braves coming into tonight's game. With a 7-6 and six overall record is what Max Preps has. Here's a throw on the way. Bang in and good. All right. A great way to start the game for the Braves. Number 20, Trey Mitchell from downtown. 3-0 Braves. We're a minute into the contest now. Starkville Academy on the offensive end. Number 25, that is Taylor Ray. 11, Dre Frazier with the basketball now. Now nearly stolen away by Moss. Instead, he actually he does get the steal on the second effort. Tanner Moss trying to go coast to coast. Lay up in and good. The steal and the score for Tanner Moss, his first bucket of the contest. Braves now with the first five points of the game. Starkville Academy. Number 21, Jawan Yarbrough picks up his dribble. Now back to George Delp at number five. He'll reset the offense for the Volunteers. Now a throw in the way from Randall Futrell is no good. Rebound, Connor Bynes and the Braves. Here comes to Shemingo County. Quickly this possession, bounce pass over to Glidewall. Still foul, shot in and good. Give the assist to Connor Bonds and give the basket to number 10, Justin Glidewall, and it forces a timeout by Starkville Academy. Braves have scored the first seven. We've got 6-10 to go in the opening period of play. Timeout, 30-second variety by the Volunteers. This timeout brought to you by Tiffin Mutter Homes at Red Bay Belmont on the Yuka, featuring those great Allegro homes. Also, tonight's game sponsors Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Home owned, home operated your hometown pizza with pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, hoagies, and also a great salad bar as well. Phone number for carrying orders is 662 360 4019. Tonight's game also brought to you by Explore Liquidation in Belmont, your home for bargains. All merchandise from name brand retailers, they're 50 to 75% daily. And also, don't forget to check out their eBay store. Search for Explore Liquidations. Piggly Wiggly by Yuka. Belmont and Red Bay, the lowest price is hometown friendly service. Also, thanks to Grace Long Real Estate, they can help you sell your home. 662 423 5555. Grace and her staff will work hard for you. All right, back to the action now, and a turnover there by the uh, Starkville Academy. Volunteers out of the hands of Randall Futrell, and here comes the first sub in the game for the Vols. It'll be number three, Reese Jackson, checking into the game for the Starkville Academy Volunteers. First ever meeting between these two teams in Iuka tonight. At a girls game moments ago, of course, Lady Braves won that one big, 56-19. Braves with the first seven here in the nightcap. Had a halftime score. Don't have a final yet in our other coverage area game tonight. Belmont, girls, and Boonville. Belmont was leading that one at halftime, 32-13. And uh, we will try to get a final uh, on that one later in the broadcast. Brave basketball underneath their own bucket. 5.38 to go, opening period of play. Glide will trigger it in. Tried to go to Sanderson. Ended up in the hands of Bonds, and his shot in and good. Connor Bonds, his first points of the game. Now 9-0. Four different Braves have scored in this one. Starkville Academy, number three with the basketball. Reese Jackson just checked in. He dishes it out now to a wide up, and Dre Frazier from three off the iron. No good. Rebound Trey Mitchell to Shemingo County. Here come the Braves. Mitchell with the left hand. He'll put up an off-balance jumper. No good. Doesn't get the home court roll. Rebound to the hands of Taylor Ray of Starkville Academy. Number three, Reese Jackson with the basketball for Starkville Academy. Now into the hands of Ray. Got the rebound on the last possession for the Volunteers. Now inside and a jumper up. In and good. Nice little jumper there. 21, Jawan Yarbrough. He's got the first points for Starkville Academy at the 450 mark. 
of the opening period, nine to two. Similar way that the girls game started. I believe it ended up seven to nine to somewhere in there. Of course, the Lady Rays went on to win in a rout. Now, stolen away, great job reading that pass by George Delp of Starkville Academy. Be a turnover against Tishomingo County. Hey, today's game also brought to you by h and Block and Iuka Red Bay and Fulton, your tax professionals. We've got to thank Grace Long Rizzo as well. They can help you sell your home. Grace and her staff will work hard for you. 662-423-5555. Now three on the way from Jackson. No good. Off the front of the iron. Rebound. Trey Mitchell's got a couple of rebounds early. Now nice defensive play by uh, Reese Jackson. Knocked the ball out of bounds. It will stay, though, with Tishomingo County uh, right in front of the Starkville Academy seating section. That uh, section, that's a pretty decent crowd. Three on the way, better than some of the other private schools that the Braves and Lady Braves have played here this year. Three, no good. Rebound to Starkville Academy. I believe it was number 11. Dre Frazier ended up with a rebound for the Volunteers. Starkville Academy. There, by the way, in their road orange is orange tops, orange shorts, white trimming down the sides, white numerals on the front and the back, white lettering that says Volunteers on the jersey. Braves, just like their uh, female counterparts in their home whites, white tops, white shorts, blue trimming down the sides, blue numerals on the front and the back, blue lettering that says TCHS. Now on the inside, back-to-back -back buckets there for Jawan Yarbrough. Four points for him, nine to four is your score in favor of Tisha Mingo County, but this is four in a row now for the Volunteers. Now pass from Glidewell now into the corner. Mitchell, he'll try a tray. Bang, and in good. A three from Trey Mitchell. A tray for a tray. It's his second three-point bank of the contest, and that snaps the 4-0 spurt of Startville Academy and extends Tisha Mingle County's advantage to 12-4, three minutes to go in the opening period. Wide open three on the way. Startville Academy, guess what? Bang, and in good. Jawan Yarbrough, he's got all seven for Startville Academy, and it forces a timeout by Craig Daly and the Braves. We'll take it with them. 30-second variety, 2.55 to go in the first period of play. Your score to Shemingo County, 12. Starkville Academy, 7. And Jawan Yarbrough has all seven for the Volunteers. Time on the floor brought to you by Sid Whitehurst and Sid's Trading Company. If you've got a bush hog mower dig, get it at Sid's. Don't forget their bush hog zero-turn mowers, skag mowers, Heody tractors, Branson tractors, and also they're your authorized dealer for the Landmaster Utility Vehicle at 617 Highway 72, 662 205 6469. Modern Woman of America can help you plan for life for protection to saving to retirement. The member owned Fraternal Financial Services Organization also offers member benefits and local volunteer opportunities. You can call Ronnie Cook at 662 423 8477 for more information. Today's game also brought to you by Belmont's Chiropractic to Chris Moss, your hometown chiropractic specialist. He's in downtown Belmont next door to the historic Belmont Hotel. Daly's Body Shop in Burnsville, 15 Yellow Creek Avenue, 662-427-9234. James Daly and his crew can make your car truck initiative look like new again. How about out of the timeout? A three from Connor Bonds. Five points for him and a great response from Yarbrough's three before the timeout. 15-7 Braves now back to an eight-point lead and a three-possession lead as well. Volunteers, they've hung around here after a slow start. Braves scored the first nine of the game. Into the hands of Reese Jackson. Jackson. Then good facility in the basketball since checking into the game. Now inside, this is a new player, number 24, Tanner Graves, who's in the ball game after the timeout. Also in the game for Tisha Mingo County, number 21. And that's Stephen Howell that has checked in first man off the bench tonight for Craig Daly. Here's 24 again. That's Graves. We just mentioned his name. Also off to number 10. Logan Roach is in the game now. Steele. Connor Bynes brings them off the floor for Tishomingo County. He'll pull from three. Bang! And a timeout, Starkville Academy. Full timeouts. After back-to-back -back threes by Tishomingo County. 1.48 to go in the opening period of play. And a timeout by Coach Bill Ball and the Starkville Academy Volunteers with the Braves leading 18-7 over his Volunteers. Tonight's game also brought to you by D&D &D Rental of Iuka. They rent small construction equipment and a wide variety of hand tools. D&D &D is at 493 County Road 169, 662-423-8283. Also thanks to the Tisha Mingo County Electric Power Association, member of TVAZ program. They'll come and do an energy audit of your home. And for information, you can call 662-423-3646. Gina McNatt, your Tisha Mingo County tax collector. Sponsoring tonight's broadcast. Also, Hometown Pizza in IUCA 621 Battleground Drive. Of course, that's Regina and Jim with your owners with pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, and hoagies. 
Of course, uh, the IQ location is a carry-out location only. Give Brittany the crew a call. They'll get it ready for you. 662-593-3036. Uh, you can discount drugs. Pharmacist Chris Cornelius and Kerber on the Lee Griffin, the entire staff, 662-423-9039. Also, thanks to Donald Wright Thomas, your South End Constable for Tishomingo County. Northeast Mississippi Community College, spring semester registration underway right now for classes at Northeast. Take your next steps at the home of the Tigers. 1-800-555-2154, NEMCC.edu. Hey, how about those Northeast Tigers? Braxton Pritchard, of course, a proud alum of this basketball program here at Tishomingo County, has helped Northeast to their first undefeated fall semester since the 1987-1988 season. How about that? So congratulations to the Tigers and to head coach Cord Wright and to our own brave Braxton Pritchard. A great start to the year. They pulled off a big win last Thursday, a week from the, uh, ago today, as a matter of fact, over Arkansas State Mid-South, the number 15 ranked team in the nation in Division II Community College Basketball. And now the Tigers are off for the holiday break with a perfect 10-0 record. Again, the first time they are undefeated going into the holiday break since 1987-88. If you can name me the head coach of that team, I might pay for your supper, but I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer before you can guess it because let's, let's face it, i got three kids at home. I ain't got no money. The answer is Harvey Childers, of course, of Ripley fame. Uh, Long-time coach in the area, Harvey Childers was the coach of that 87-88 Northeast team that was undefeated until the postseason. Actually finished off a full undefeated regular season at 24 and oh Wow, a nice running layup in there for Starkville Academy. George Delp gets his first points of the contest, score now 18-9 in favor of Tishman County. One minute to go in our opening period of play. Today's game brought up Hank Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery clerk. Connor Bonds, he loses it, and where are we going to go? It's going to stay here with Tishomingo County. Volunteer fans wanted that one to go off of Bonds, but the officials right there in front of it will stay here with the Braves. Tanner Moss driving to the hoop. He loses it, and it will be a turnover. Startville Academy basketball as the volunteers will bring back into the game Randall Futrell. Today's game also brought to you by the IQ Animal Clinic. That's James Perkins and his crew at Highway 25 South Healthcare Grooming and Boarding for your pets. 662-423-3470. If for emergencies, you may call 256-740-4800. Here's Futrell just back in the game. Contact in the lane. No call. His basket is good. Randall Futrell. No, we've got an offensive foul. I didn't hear the whistle. Wow. I apologize. We have an offensive foul called, and it's the first foul in the game against either team. Randall Futrell picks up his first on the charge taken by the Braves. His first team first. So I apologize for that. I thought there was no whistle at all. I did not hear the whistle at all from the baseline official. 20 seconds to go. Braves have a nine-point lead, 18-9. They're holding for the final possession here. Now 15 seconds. Howell. Howell, his pass tip goes in the hands of Connor Bonds. Bonds, contested shot, no good. Rebound to Bonds, puts it back up in and good. Nice play by Connor Bynes, and that will be how the first period ends. That shot would have gone had it been, uh, or would have counted, but it goes off the glass and no good. Connor Bynes, a great opening period. He's got 10 of the Braves, 20, and the Braves have a double-digit lead at the end of the period to score. Tishomingo County leading Starkville Academy 20-9. 20 to 9. 20 to 9 after one period of play here in IU. By the way, we're over an hour and a half into our broadcast coverage of Tishomingo County Basketball. Thank you so much for being with us. Blake Long, Randall Lindsay, the A-team with you here. And, uh, of course, a big weekend going into Christmas break. I believe the next two nights are the last games of the uh, before Christmas for both teams. Of course, this is Thursday, December 19th, Friday, December 20th. Be here tomorrow night. Ripley comes to town. And, of course, in the girls' action, that will be for first place in the division going into the Christmas break. Ripley's guys are also unbeaten in division play, I believe, at 2-0. So a big-time matchup coming up here tomorrow evening. We'll have it for you here on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. But for now, we've got guys actually take care of here first, and the Braves have a double-digit lead, 20-9, as we enter the second period of play. All brought to you by David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County Tax Assessor, and also by Gatlin's Pharmacy. They asked the question, are you spending too much out of your pocket? Are you in a donut hole? Have you ever priced your prescriptions at another store? Come see if they've got other options to save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605. Also, we thanks to MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, FD Apparel, Vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, and earplugs made and sold in Belmont, 1-800-647-8168. All right, back to the action here. Braves with the first possession of the period. Nice pass there from Bonds, but the shot by Moss is rejected. 
by 21, Jawan Yarbrough for Starkville Academy. Goes out of bounds, last touch by Yarbrough. Tisha Mingle County basketball underneath its own bucket. Bonds to trigger the play in for Tisha Mingo County. Looked for Glidewell eventually into Moss. And he pump fakes back to Trey Mitchell. Mitchell, a jumper from by the free throw line. No good. Rebound pulled in by Yarbrough. And we got a foul on the Braves. Foul goes against Tisha Mingo County. Number 21, Stephen Howell. His first, team first against the Braves. Wow, nice job there by Craig Daly's crew. First foul for the Braves comes at the 740 mark of the second period of play. So on the floor to begin the second period for the Braves is Stephen Howell, who just got the foul. Also uh, number 34, Connor Bonds. You've got 20, Trey Mitchell, 10, Justin Glival, and 5, Tanner Moss. Ball tipped out of bounds by Bonds at Starkville Academy Ball. Today's game brought to you by State Farm Insurance agent Boyce Hollingsworth, 214 East Equipment Street in Iuka. Full service insurance, auto, home, life, health, and retirement policies available. 662-423-5931. Volunteers. Patient on offense, trailing by 11, 20 to 9. Nice double team there, and we've got a foul. Interesting there. The foul goes against number 34 for the Braves, Connor Bynes, and I thought there was some separation there between he and Starkville Academy's George Delton. Nonetheless, his first personal team foul number two on the Braves. 7.21 to go before we reach our halftime hiatus. 20 to 9. Braves still have that same lead as they had at the end of the first period. Randall Futrell being guarded by Tanner Moss. Nearly got a five count now. One, two, three. Good defense there by Moth. The Volunteers do save the possession into the hands of Jawan Yarbrough, number 21. Yarbrough has seven of Starkville Academy's nine points. Number four. Now he picks up dribble Randall Futrell. And now another foul, and Craig Daly is not happy about that one. I thought that was great defense as well by Tanner Moss, but he's going to pick up his first personal Team foul number three. The Braves have committed three fouls within the last minute. Inbounds played by the Volunteers in front of the Tishomingo County bench. And now I believe we've got some blood and he's going to have to come out of the game. So they'll have to call in a, a trainer for him and uh, they'll have to put in a sub. And here he comes. Number 12 will check in for the first time. Harris McReynolds. And the Braves are also going to get a couple of new faces in the game for the first time today, checking in number one, Ashton Dilworth, and also number 24, that's Spence Kaufman. All right, inbounds play now for the Volunteers. We'll go to number four, Randall Futrell, after we get that all situated up. By the way, today's game also brought to you by B&J Supermarket in Burnsville. Highway 365 South, fresh produce, awesome meat and dairy department, accepting your Visa, MasterCard, and EBT food stamps as well. Josh McNance, also the new Tisha Mingo County Circuit Court Clerk, and sponsoring our broadcasts this winter. Taylor Ray takes a couple of dribbles, now pulls back and gives it to Jawan Yarbrough. Yarbrough, he's hit a three, made some good moves in the post as well. Got to watch him no matter where he is on the court. He's being guarded by Stephen Howell. Now number 11, Dre Frazier picks up his dribble. Off to number 12, Harris McReynolds, who just checked in the ball game for the first time. Now a timeout, Startwell Academy. Third time out of the game for Starkville Academy. We'll take it with them, a 30-second variety with 6.11 to go before halftime. We've been stuck on 20-9 since the first quarter, and we're still there at this time. Hey, today's game brought to you by Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, and, uh, and Dustin Dick. Try their best to meet your high-reach needs. They can, of course, do all things in a professional manner. License bonded and insured. 662-279-7500 for Triple D's. IU Monument Company, the highest quality at a reasonable price. 662-423-3203. Mack Wildman is your Tisha Mingle County Coroner sponsoring tonight's broadcast. Also, Nunley Trucking Company, Herman, and their, and their entire staff, 662-424-0080. Burnsville Tire, the home of free lifetime rotations with the purchase of four tires. They're at 246 Highway 72 West in Burnsville, 662-427-9308. Million Ready Mix, Little 25 North in Iuka, 662-423-6238. Harwell Parts and Supply, your CarQuest dealer. At 1102 West Equipment Street in I, you can stop by and let Chad and the staff take care of your parts and supply needs. 662-423-9892. All right, here we go. Starkville Academy with a basketball following their timeout. Into the corner to number 11, Ray Frazier. And now into the backcourt. And it was going to be a yep, backcourt violation. That's what I thought. Turnover on the Volunteers. It'll be Tishomingo County basketball. I think in my head tonight, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way where I don't say it, I think I've called Starkville Academy in my head the Patriots 
and the Pioneers tonight, but the Patriots would be uh, Heritage Academy. And the only Pioneer I know of is Volunteer State Community College up in Tennessee. There's a long jumper no good from Bonds. But they are the Volunteers wearing the same colors as the University of Tennessee, and they've got possession of the basketball right now. First time that we've had them here at Tishomingo County High School. And a nice move there. Wow, the lane cleared for Jawan Yarbrough, and he'll, that's about as easy of a bucket as he'll have all night long. 20 to 11 the score, 5.30 to go before our halftime break. That's the first points by either team this period. Dilworth now, he'll put up a shot, no good. Rebound, guess who? Yarbrough and the Starkville Academy Volunteers. Today's game brought to you by Tiffin Mutter Homes and Red Bay Belmont. Now you can feature those great Allegro Homes. Yarbrough dishes it off to Frazier for Starkville Academy. Trailing in this game 22-11. Fake three now. White to the basket in and good. A great move there from Tanner Graves. And he gets the two to fall after that. A beautiful move. And the uh, Volunteers now scored the first four points of this period. They trail to Shemingham County 20-13. Bonds. Makes the move past his defender and dishes it out now to Kaufman. He'll try a three. No good. Rebound loose. And it's picked up by number 11 for the Volunteers. That's Dre Frazier. So the Braves in a bit of a scoring rut here. They've gone the first three and a half minutes of this period without a single point. Here's Garbro on the post. Dice dish and the left-handed layup is no good off the hand of Dre Frazier. Connor Bonds the rebound for Tishomingo County. Not a bad look for Frazier there either. Bonds may have gotten away with a carry. Now Justin Campbell going to drive towards the basket. His shot up no good. Rebound to Yarbrough and Starkville Academy. So the scoring drop for the Braves is going to reach four minutes. The first four minutes here of this second period. Braves led by 11 after the first period. It's now down to seven. Scores 20 to 13. Thankfully the Braves have played good defense in this period to keep the uh, volunteers at bay. Randall Futrell. Good defense set by Glidewell. The pass attempt was going to go to Frazier. Now it does go to Frazier. Inside to Yarbrough. His shot is up. No good. Rebound binds. And Tishomingo County. 3.45 to go in our first half. Braves leading 20-13. to 13. Now Moss. No, pardon me. That's Kaufman over to Dilworth. His short jumper. No good off the back iron. Rebound controlled by Tanner Graves and the Volunteers. Graves. Going to get close to a 10 count here, and they will get it across the time stripe just in time. Now, Frazier. Frazier going inside, cut off by Connor Bonds. Bonds back out now to Graves. Thought about a three. Now over to Yarbrough. He will pull from three. No good. Rebound. Kaufman had a hand on it. It'll go out of bounds. Last touched by Starkville Academy. Multiple subs in the game for both teams. We'll give you the Braves. Tanner Moss back in the game, and also Trey Mitchell. So I believe we're going to have the, uh, well, not the full starting five, as uh, now here will come Sanderson back in the game. So we'll have the full starting five on the floor now for Tishomingo County with 3.08 to go in the first half of play. Hey, today's game brought to you by Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Home owned, home operated your hometown pizza. Don't forget their lunch buffet Monday through Friday and also on Sunday from 11 to 2. Lunch buffet Monday through Friday from 11 to 1. Buffet includes pizza, pasta, salad, and a drink. For carrying orders, you can call 662-360-4019. Bonds from three. No good in and out. Rebound. Trey Mitchell and the Braves. And it's loose on the floor now. We've got a tie-up. There's the tie-up. Possession arrow. Let's see who it goes to. It should give it to Starkville Academy. Coach Craig Daly asking for a foul, but no call there. Braves scoring drought is now over six minutes. 6-11 to be precise here. In the second period, Braves have still not scored, but only given up four points to the Volunteers in this period as well. Moss guarding point guard Reese Jackson for Starkville Academy. This is it off to Dre Frazier. Frazier over now to Tanner Graves. Graves tried to go inside there to number 10. Logan Roach who's checked in now. Shot up no good, and we've got an offensive foul. A great job there by Connor Bonds. He took the offensive foul. And I didn't see who the foul was against. We're going to put it on the scoreboard here in a moment. As the clock is running, at least I hope they are, because I didn't see 10, and I thought that was correct. Logan Roach, who just checked in the game, picks up his first. Team second. Clock continuing to roll with 222. Let's see if that will spark the Braves' offense here with their full starting five back in the game. Now inside to Sanderson, and that's it. Assist to Justin Glidewell, and a beautiful reverse layup there for number 11, Eli Sanderson. 
and he is the final starting member of the Braves lineup to score in the game. All five have now, and the lead is back to nine points, 22 to 13. Two minutes to go in the second period of play. Now, Starkville Academy, number three, Reese Jackson, driving to the basket, his shot up, no good. Sanderson, three bound for the Braves, and he'll bring it up the floor now for Tishomingo County. Over to Bonds, Bonds quickly to Glidewell. He'll drive toward the hoop, and we've got a whistle and a block, and I think the correct call, although Starkville Academy fans are not happy with it, I think it was Dre Frazier, and he started to fall before Glidewell made the move, and Glidewell did move to his left at the last second to uh, alter the contact. So it is the first personal on Dre Frazier, team foul number three, two free throws coming here for Justin Glidewell. His first free throw is no good. By the way, these are the first free throw attempts of the entire game. They come with the 144 mark, at the 144 mark of the second period. Not many fouls, six total between the two teams. Hopefully that will not reverse itself in the second half. Second free throw is good. Glidewell's now got three points, and we've got a sub in the game. This is Jawan Yarbrough checking back in again. He's got nine of Starkville Academy's 13 total points. Today's game brought to you by Explore Liquidation in Belmont, your home for bargains. Mike Stockton and Jetta Pitts. They remind you to check out their eBay store. Search for Explore Liquidations. They're also available in the Belmont Industrial Park. Take Highway 25 south to Dickinson Road across from the Tiffins entrance. Now an unforced error there on the Starkville Academy volunteers. A high pass and a turnover. Braves have a chance to build on that lead. They've scored three in a row. It's back to a double figure advantage for Tishomingo County. At 23-13, we've got 93 seconds to go in our first half of play. Sanderson over to Bonds. Bonds inside to Sanderson. Nice no-look pass there. Sanderson, though, double team back out to Bonds for three. Bang! A big shot there. Make it a 6-0 run for the Braves. Bonds, his first points of the second quarter. He's got a game-high 13 of this point, and the Braves have now doubled up the Volunteers 26-13. We've got 65 seconds to go in the half. Driving inside now for the Patriots, and pardon me for the Volunteers. I knew I'd do it eventually. The Volunteers and scoring number 10, Logan Roach. So Roach, he gets his first bucket of the game, 26-15. Now the score, 50 seconds to go. Mitchell over to Glidewell. Back to Connor Bonds. Bonds over to Glidewell now inside Moss. A good pass inside now Moss back out to Mitchell. He's wide open for three, no good. Off the back iron, gets his own rebound. Nice hustle there for Trey Mitchell. Now back to Bonds, he's wide open from NBA range. Yes, sir, and good. And it's a 9-0, pardon me, 9-2 right now for Tishomingo County to open this one up a bit more. 29-15, 20 seconds to go in the half. Yarbrough. Taking a couple of dribbles, 13 seconds, 12. Now 10 to go in the half. Final play of the half coming here into the hands of Reese Jackson. Six seconds, five. Jackson drives inside that back out for three. Roach, it's in and good. And a great way to end the half for the Volunteers with a three-point basket from Logan Roach. Before that, though, a 9-2 run by Tishomingo County allows the Braves to take a double-digit lead into the locker room. 29-18, so the teams actually broke even in that period, both teams scoring nine points apiece. It felt like, of course, more for the Braves after that late run, but it ends up a nine-point second quarter for both teams in your halftime score. Tishomingo County, 29, Starkville Academy, 18. Let's go ahead and do your halftime stats. Brought to you by Piggly Wiggly of Iuka, Belmont, and Red Bay. Lowest prices, hometown-friendly service. All right, let's go through them right now. For your Tishomingo County Braves, a great shooting performance so far tonight from Connor Bynes. He's got four three-point baskets. A total of 16 points in the game. That's a game high. He's the only player in double figures at this point. Following him, Trey Mitchell has a pair of trays with six points. Justin Glidewell with three. And two points apiece for the duo of Tanner Moss and Eli Sanderson. Jawan Yarbrough, the leading scorer for the Volunteers of Starkville Academy with nine. Following here, Logan Roach with five. You just saw him make the three-point basket moments ago. He cut this lead to 11 at the halftime break. Or cut their deficit to 11 at the halftime break. Then two points apiece for the duo of George Delp and Tanner Graves. It's a total of 18 here in the first half for Starkville Academy. Your halftime stats brought to you by Grace Long Real Estate. They can help you sell your home. 662-423-5555. Grace and her staff will work hard for you. And also by H&R Block and IU Credit Bay and Fulton, your tax professionals. Halftime score to Shemingo County, 29. Starkville Academy, 18. This is WRMG TV 12. TV 97, your home for Tishomingo County Sports, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Braves have a, a, an 11 point lead as we begin the second half of play here from the campus of Tishomingo County High School. Blake Long, Randall Lindsay with you. Back underway here 
Graves is going to try and pick up their eighth win of the season with a big game tomorrow night against the Ripley Tigers looming. Bonds had a great first half. He's got the basketball now. 16 points out of the Braves, 29 total. Now Eli Sanderson with the basketball. I expect him to have a big second half inside the Moss. Moss double team shot up, blocked, rebound by the Volunteers. Number five, George Delp. Here comes Randall Futrell with the basketball. Futrell, yep, he traveled with the basketball. Turnover by the Volunteers to Shemingo County Ball. Today's game brought to you by Sid Whitehurst, Sid's Trading Company. If you've got a bush hog and mower dig, get it in at Sid's. 662-205-6469, just past the campus of Tishomingo County High School at 617 Highway 72. Don't forget their Coyote Tractor Skag Mower, some of the great products they've got at Sid's Trading Company. Mitchell from the far side of the court back to Justin Glidewell. Glidewell now going to Sanderson. The ball is tipped out. It's actually going to say off the hand of Sanderson. Last turnover by the Braves. Well, the Braves went over six minutes in the second period without scoring. Hopefully it's not the same start to the third quarter for Craig Daly's group. Good news is the Braves have played stellar defense all night long. Now over to the far side, number 11, Dre Frazier. Frazier gets a screen, may have been a moving screen there, and got away with the three on the way in and good. Number 11, Dre Frazier, his first points of the contest. The lead now back under double figures. It's 29-21. Mitchell over to number 10. That's Glidewell. Glidewell back to Mitchell. Mitchell back to Glidewell. Do it again. Another pass to Sanderson. He can't control it. Finally does. Gets it back up top to Bonds. Bonds for three. Need this one. And it is in and good. Gets a home court roll off of the iron, off the glass, and then into the hoop. Connor Bonds. He's got 19 now in the contest. 32-21. Braves back ahead by 11 points. Roach now over to Yarbrough. Yarbrough kicked it back out after being double teamed by the Braves. Roach over to Delp. Delp trying to go inside, and he does to number four. And he gets the shot off and in and good. Give the assist to George Delp in the bucket to Randall Futrell, his first points in the contest. Now four, five, six. Starkville Academy players have scored in the game. That's one more than the Braves. 32-23, 5.45 to go in the third period. Mitchell. Over to Sanderson. Trying to go inside, passes Errant and stolen away by Logan Roach. Braves play sloppy basketball to begin the second half. Now on the other end, the, converting the turnover into points is Futrell. Back-to-back baskets, for, baskets pardon me, for number four, Randall Futrell. And the Braves lead now 32-25 at seven points. Still three-position lead for Tishomingo County. Mitchell over to Sanderson. Sanderson. Picks one dribble, pulls up a three, no good off the back iron. Rebound, great, and rebound. Tanner Moss goes over Yarbrough to get the rebound. Now Mitchell, had it poked out from behind, should stay right here with Tishomingo County. First sub in the game of the second half of the Braves is going to be number 21, Stephen Howell, and he'll check in for Sanderson. Hey, folks, should financial advice focus on you, your goals, your dreams, your modern room of America representative can plan for all stages of life, from protection to saving to retirement. Call Randy Cook for more information at 662 423 8477. Give him a call to start the conversation. Well, Bonds had a couple of good attempts there, missed both, rebound eventually into the hands of Starkville Academy. They are trailing in this game 32 25. Yarbrough, nice move there, and had it stripped away. Great play there by Connor Bonds to force the steal and the turnover by the Volunteers. And now an unforced error there, Glidewall. Looking for Tanner Moss, and they just weren't on the same page there. The bounce pass goes out of bounds untouched. A turnover on Tishomingo County. Clock running, four and a half minutes to go. Third period of play, Tishomingo County 32, Startville Academy 25. As the Braves trying to hold on here for a big win at home. This is Futrell, his shot partially blocked by Howell, I believe. Ball loose, and will go out of bounds. Should be Tishomingo County ball on the turnover by Startville Academy. Belmont chiropractor to Chris Moss. Your hometown chiropractic specialist serving Belmont and starting areas since 1998. Also, Daly's Body Shop and Towing. James Daly, your owner, 15 Yellow Creek Avenue in Burnsville, 662 427 9234. Can make car truck and SUV look like new again. Braves on the offensive end now. It's Moss over to Glidewell. Trying yet again to go inside, or maybe they're trying to find Bonds. Either way, it's stolen away by George Delp. Halfway through the third period of play, Braves lead by seven. 
Today's game also brought to you by D&D Rental of Iuka that can rent small construction equipment and a wide variety of hand tools. They're at 493 County Road 169. 662-423-8283. Now wide open shot from Roach is no good. Offensive rebound by Delp. His shot blocked by Stephen Howell. And the rebound to Glidewell and the Braves. Now Kentish Shemuel County converts the block into points on its offensive end. Need a shot of momentum to the Braves. Here's Bonds with the basketball. He'll drive inside with the right hand, pull up his dribble. Now find Mitchell. Long three on the way. No good. Rebound. Bonds is put back up and no good, but he's fouled in the process. Should be on the floor, maybe. A foul on Starkville Academy, number five, George Delp. His first, and that's the first whistle against either team here in the second half, coming at the 321 mark of the third period of play. So they will say it was on the shot. So two free throws coming here for number 34, Connor Bonds, his first trip to the free throw line tonight. And looking for a 20-point game. He's in that column now, 20 points tonight for Connor Bonds. 20 of Tishomingo County's 33, Braisley 33 25. One more free shot coming for Bonds, and it's up, and it is good. We'll have subs after the free throw. For Starkville Academy, 24. Tanner Graves back in the game with Al for Tishomingo County. Spence Kaufman, number 24, and also number one, Ashton Dilworth, back in the game for the Braves. Hey, today's game brought to you by the Tishomingo County Electric Power Association, a member of TVAZ program. TV will come and do an energy audit of your home, and for more information, you can call 662-423-3646. Now, after a uh, convoluted uh, mess inside the lane, Yarbrough gets an easy two points. He's the first Starkville Academy player in double figures. The lead now 34-27. Bonds wide open for three. In and out, no good. Rebound to Randall Futrell for the Volunteers. Futrell. And, yep, he traveled the basketball. Absolutely. A turnover there by Starkville Academy, much to the dismay of head coach Bill Ball. 2.55 to go. Third period of play. Tishomingo County 34. Volunteers of Starkville Academy 27. Kaufman going to run the point on this possession for Tishomingo County. He'll dish it off to Bonds. Bonds thought about a three. Now bounce pass to Dilworth. Dilworth inside the lane. Takes one dribble. His shot no good. I don't know how that one didn't go in, but he got his own rebound somehow. Great hustle there from Ashton Dilworth. Now back to Bonds. Kaufman. He'll try a three. No good off the back iron. Bonds. No, he didn't have it for a second on the rebound. And eventually into the hands of George Delp. Delp. Now we'll back it back out to number three, Reese Jackson. Down to the corner, wide open three, no good off the hands of Tanner Graves. Rebound finally to the hands of Tanner Moss for Tishomingo County. Clock now rating 2.10 to go in this third period. To play tonight's game brought to you by Gina Magnet, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Tiller picked up his dribble bounce past the Bonds in the corner. Far corner for three, no good off the iron. Rebound and a foul on the rebound as Randall Futrell is fouled by number five, Tanner Moss. His second personal first whistle against the Braves here in the second half with 1.57 to go in the third period of play. Got a sub in the game for the Volunteers. Here comes number 11, Dre Frazier, back into the contest. He will replace Randall Futrell. Hometown Pizza in Iuka, 621 Battleground Drive. Got the 20-inch party pizza and also crustless pizza. Her Red don't like so much bread. 662-593-3036. This is their carry location only. Give Brittany the crew a call. And they'll get it ready for you. A jump ball on the inbounds play. Possession arrow will keep it here with Starkville Academy. Now you can discount drugs. Thank you to our friends Chris Cleanus and Kurt Butler, Lee Griffin, their entire staff that can handle all your pharmaceutical needs. 662-423-9039. Donald Ray Thomas also sponsored you in tonight's game. He's your Tishomingo County South End Constable. Over and back the call there. It was going to be a steal for the Braves regardless, but that actually benefits Starkville Academy. More so than that because the Braves would have had a fast break and an opportunity for points there. Instead, the Braves will have it uh, midcourt. 34-27. We've got about uh, 100 seconds to go in our third period. Now Kaufman in the far corner. He'll take one dribble, pick it up. Now inside to Moss. Moss had it picked from behind and stolen. Yarbrough gets credit for the steal, but eventually with possession of it was Dre Frazier for the Volunteers. Now Frazier over to number five, George Delp. Delp had it stripped. Tanner Moss gets credit for the steal. Here comes Connor Bonds. Bonds trying to go coast to coast. Athletic link up in and good. 23 points now for Connor Bonds. Braves have a nine-point lead and a foul as the Volunteers trying to go down the far side of the court. Number one picks up the personal, and that is Ashton Dilworth. His first team second of the second half. Here comes Justin Glidel back in the game. 
to replace Moss, who had that excellent defensive play moments ago. Hey, today's game brought to you by Northeast Mississippi Community College. Don't forget spring semester registration underway. For information, you can uh, search nemcc.edu or call 1-800-555-2154. Peyton Cummings, your Tisha Mingle County Chancellor Clerk, also sponsoring our broadcast this evening. One minute to play in our third period of play. Tisha Mingle County 36, Starkville Academy 27. Here's the drive in from Yarbrough, and we've got... A whistle and a foul before the shot, I believe. Yeah, 21 gets the foul, and that's Stephen Howell. And I've got that as his second team third. Here comes Moss back in the game to replace Howell, who just picked up that second personal. Hey, today's game brought to you by David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County tax assessor. Clock stopped with 53.3 seconds to go in the period. Inbound play goes to the volunteers into the hands of Tanner Graves now. Jackson over to Yarbrough. It's a long two, and it's no good. Low percentage shot there. Rebound to Kaufman and the Braves. Bonds. Try to move inside. Can Moss complete the play? No, he dishes it back out to Kaufman for three. No good off the side of the rim. And the rebound to Yarbrough. And the Volunteers. I'm going to he's going to have a double-double before the night's over with. That's uh, Jawan Yarbrough. And now a nice uh, block, I believe, by the Braves. And the rebound eventually into the hands of Connor Bonds. 20 seconds to go. Braves may hold for the final possession here. Glidewell, though, gets it up to court. Now Kaufman, quick three, no good. Rebound to Juwan Yarbrough, and now a foul. Let's take it the other way. Foul goes against the Braves, number one. That's Ashton Dilworth, his second, team fourth, and the Volunteers will take it coast to coast with 11.6 seconds to go. Inbounds play goes to number three, Jacob, uh, pardon me, that is uh, Reese Jackson. Six seconds now, five. Volunteers not in a hurry until now. Not, they're not going to get a shot off. They will try desperation. It goes off the top of the uh, goal. In fact, off of the black, the, uh, the part of the goal that retracts it, and that will be a dead ball, and that will end the third period of play with your score. Starkville Academy trailing Tishomingo County 36-27. to 27. So the Starkville Academy volunteers actually outscored the Braves in that period. Nine, they've been consistent. Nine to, uh, let's see, 36 for the Braves. That's seven. Nine to seven. Uh, the uh, Volunteers outscored the Braves in that period. Starkville Academy scored nine points in each period so far tonight. Don't see that very often either, but we can turn our attention out to the fourth quarter. By the way, over two hours into our broadcast coverage of Tishomingo County basketball. And as always, we thank you so much for bringing us into your home, whether it's a replay on Facebook, whether it's a replay on YouTube, a DVD replay, a replay on TV 12, TV 97, or if it's live audio, on WRMGRadio.com at the TCHS Sports Link. Thank you for making us a part of your day, your evening, or whatever you may be watching or listening to us. I'm Blake Long, joined by Randall Lindsay. We are the A-Team here on WRMG. We appreciate you so much for being here with us. Tonight's game coverage brought to you by Dr. James Perkins and this staff the IU Animal Clinic. They're at Highway 25 South Healthcare Grooming and Boarding for your pets, 662-423-3470, for emergencies after hours. Today's game also brought to you by Gatlin's Pharmacy. See the pharmacist you know and trust Stanley Page. See if you can save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy, your health mall pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605. MTS is formerly Mississippi Tool Supply. Safety apparel, vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, and earplugs made and sold in Belmont, 1-800-647-8168. State Farm Insurance Agent Boyce Hollingsworth. We're seeing here to all your insurance needs, auto, home, life, health, and retirement. He's at 214 East Equipment Street in Iuka, 662-423-5931. And also, fourth quarter action brought to you by B&J Supermarket in Burnsville. They're at Highway 365 South. He'll open seven days a week, your hometown store, where prices are low 52 weeks every single year. All right, big fourth quarter coming your way. Braves lead by nine, 36 to 27. Had cold shooting since that first quarter, but great defense all night long. Here's... Uh, Bonds, and yeah, great call. Jump ball on the shot position there. We'll give it to Starville Academy. will go down in the book as a turnover on the Braves. I think it was a great call there by the official near the Brave bench. The, the ball, the position, the, the contact was with the ball, and it tied up as the shot was going up. Inbounds played to the Volunteers. Here's the, who the Braves have on the floor. It'll be the starting five to begin the fourth quarter. It'll be Trey Mitchell, number 20. Connor Bonds, number 34. Number 10, that's Justin Glidewell. Number 5, Tanner Moss. And number 11, Eli Sanderson. Volunteers with the basketball now. Roach trying to go inside. Great job. Again, another turnover forced by Connor Bonds. Picked up by Tanner Moss. Now inside Glidewell. A shot partially blocked, but there's a foul. And two free throws coming here for Tishomingo County. 
And the foul goes against Starkville Academy number 10. And that is uh, Logan Roach, his second, and the team's third. All right, two free throws coming here for number 10, Justin Glidewell. He's one for two at the free throw line, make him two for three. Not many free throws shot in this contest. The Braves are now four for five at the charity stripe. Starkville Academy has yet to attempt a free throw, by the way. That's an incredible statistic. Second free throw from Lytle in and good. Here comes subs for both teams. Juwan Yarbrough back in the ball game, leading score for the Volunteers. And Ashton Dilworth back in the game. Watch him. He's got two fouls. Uh, three players with two fouls for the Braves. Dilworth, Howell, and Moss. Starkville Academy. And now a foul, and there's Dilworth. He just picked up his third. Right after he came in the game, literally seconds. Dilworth picks up his third, team fifth. 38-27, Braves back to a double-digit advantage. 7-10 to go in the ball game. Inbounds play, and oh, that may have been a little aggressive screen there. Roach may have gotten away with an offensive foul there for Starkville Academy. There's Delp with the basketball. This game getting a little physical here in the fourth quarter. Three on the way, no good off the hands of number 11, Dre Frazier. And Eli Sanderson with a very nice box out of the rebound for Tishomingo County. Moss lost it. We're going to have oh, Moss. Timeout, Tishomingo County. Great timeout called there by Craig Daly. And we'll take it with him. 6.49 to go in the ball game. Your score, Tisha Bingo County, 38. Starkville Academy, 27. Timeout on the floor. And it saved the possession there for the Braves. Tonight's game brought to you by Triple D's Bucket Service. Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick. Try their best to meet your high reach needs. 662-279-7500. Uh, Josh Maynat, your new Tishomingo County Circuit Court Clerk sponsoring the broadcast. Also, IU Commonment Company. The highest quality at a reasonable price. 662 423-3203. Mack Wyman, your Tishomingo County Coroner, sponsoring the broadcast on the game. Also, Nunley Truckee Company, Herman and Darren Nunley, their entire staff, 662-424-0080. Also, Burnsville Tire, Ethan Morris, your owner, at 246 Highway 72 West End, Burnsville, 662-427-9308. Get the home court advantage. They do tires, wheels, alignments, exhaust, towing, road service, brake shocks, and more at Burnsville Tire. And one more reminder, you get a copy of tonight's game on DVD by contacting Jack or Denise Ivey, 662-454-9797, 662-454-9797. All right, inbounds play coming here for the Braves underneath their own bucket. It'll be 34 Connor Bonds, and he will take it all the way into Starkville Academy side of the court to Trey Mitchell. Braves will have a full possession here with 6.43 and counting to go with a double-digit lead of 11 points, 38-27. Dilworth with the basketball now over to Eli Sanderson. Sanderson over now to Dilworth. Both teams have been pretty patient on offense overall tonight. Again, I'm sure the Braves are trying to rest for their big Division 1-4A game tomorrow night against the, the Ripley Tigers. Almost the same thing as Coach Middleton did in the girls' game. Three on the way from Sanderson, no good. Rebound controlled by Starkville Academy's number 11, Dre Frazier. Now ahead to Randall Futrell. Futrell. Inside, this is Yarbrough going up and in. Yarbrough, Jawan Yarbrough. He's got 13 points, but give the Braves credit. He had a nine in the, I believe, first period alone. So he's been contained overall, but he does have a team-high 13 for Starkville Academy, and the lead is back under double digits at 38-29. Sanderson, nice move there. His shot, though, no good. Rebound to Randall Futrell for Starkville Academy. Fast break for the Volunteers, and a great job by Connor Bonds, but there's a foul, and this one will be going against Connor Bonds. He disrupted the layup attempt, though, so uh, not bad defense there for that young man, but Connor Bonds will pick up his second personal Team foul number six. The bad news here is that the Volunteers will shoot free throws for the remainder of the contest, starting with the next personal foul. Moss back in the game for the Braves to replace Dilworth, who has three fouls for Tishomingo County. Inbounds play into the hands of Logan Roach. Now a wide open three. No good off the back iron, but getting his own rebound is George Delp. Now Yarbrough, he's inside and one. Foul goes against the Braves. Guess who just picked up his third? Connor Bynes. Back-to-back fouls against him. Team's seventh. Count basket for Jawan Yarbrough. He's got 15 points, and this will be the guess. Get this. 5.36 to go in the game. This is Starkville Academy's first free throw attempt of the entire contest. That may be the stat of the game. First free throw is up, and it is good. Only free throw, I should say. And Yarbrough's got 16 in the lead. He's back to two possessions. First time it's been this close since the opening period of play. It's 
32, five and a half minutes to go in the game. Mitchell gets a screen from Sanderson, now to the corner to Connor Bynes. Foul count, by the way, here's Glidewell for three, no good, rebound, loose, and he gets his own rebound, Justin Glidewell. Foul count, by the way, is seven to two in favor of Starkville Academy, now to make it seven to three, we've got a foul on the floor. And the foul goes against the Volunteers, number five, George Delp, his second, team third. Now the Starkville Academy faithful is getting back into the contest a little bit. With 5-12 to go, you can hear them across the way from us here. Not a bad contingency. By the way, they came on uh, two very nice charter buses. That ball is punched out of bounds essentially by George Delp. Braves will not have it underneath their own bucket. But two very nice charter buses brought the Starkville Academy teams here. Uh, so they will ride home in comfort, I can assure you of that, win or lose. Mitchell, now over to Bonds. He'll try a three from in front of the Braves. Bench, it's in and good. That's a big, big Big bucket, 26 points for him. The score, 41-32, five minutes to go. That's a big response after the uh, Volunteers got this game as close as it's been since the first period. Now Yarbrough, and guess what? Connor Bonds just picked up his fourth, and the Volunteers will go to the free throw line. Connor Bonds has four fouls now, three of those happening in the fourth quarter alone. And stepping to the free throw line, number 21, Juwan Yarbrough. This a one plus one opportunity for the Volunteers. Hey, today's game brought to you by Milligan Ready Mix at Old 25 North, NIUCA, 662 423 with mulch landscaping, rock, curb stops, and much, much more. Yarbrough, his first attempt upcoming. One and one here. It's up, and it is good. 17 points now for Juwan Yarbrough. He'll get one more free throw as a result. Today's game also brought to you by Tiffin Motorhomes of Red Bay Belmont on the Yuka featuring those great Allegro homes. One more free throw coming here. 41-33 the score, 454 to go. Second free throw is good as well. And we've got a sub in the game for the Braves. Here comes Stephen Howell checking back into the contest. Who will he get? Yep, Connor Bonds. Let's see how the Braves do without their leading score. He's got Connor Bonds, 26 of Tishomingo County's 41 points. So that's a big, uh, tonight at least, a big uh, batch of points sitting on the bench. But you've also got to think about the close of the game as well. Seven-point lead for the Braves, 41-34. I'm going to say if Starkville Academy gets this back to a two-possession game, that uh, that Bynes will be uh, put back in the game without hesitation by Craig Daly. We'll see how this unfolds, though. Moss back to Glidewell. The Braves may try to slow this one down with this situation unfolding. Eight to three is the foul count now. Glidewell, the count on going. And the ball's hit out of bounds. Craig Daly was trying to call a timeout. And guess who's back in the game now? Bynes. We mentioned it may be. Uh, and Bill Ball not happy with that. Bynes is waiting to be called into the game here. And actually, I think he has Sanderson is checked out. And now Bynes will. Nope, it's going to be Moss to trigger the ball inbound for the Braves now. 41-34, let's watch Connor Bonds closely. Four personal fouls, but 26 points hard, and uh, of course a smooth handler of the basketball. Now he gets the ball stolen away in his first possession back in the game. It's Reese Jackson going coast to coast, a shot no good. Glidewell possesses the rebound for Tishomingo County. We've got a good one coming down the stretch. Don't go anywhere on WRMG. Four minutes to go. Braves lead 41-34 over Starkville Academy. Howell. Puts up a shot, it's short. In fact, doesn't hit rim. Rebound to Reese Jackson for Starkville Academy. Brave fans wanted a foul to no avail from our officiating crew. Here's a three on the way from Roach. No good, wow. That one came close to my thought. Now a steal on the rebound. That's Dell getting the steal. Inbounds going to Juwan Yarbrough. Back to Yarbrough. It's nearly stolen away by Moss, and Yarbrough gets the points. What a frenzied sequence that was. Yarbrough now with 20 in the ball game. And this is as close as Starkville Academy's been since the opening period of play. 41-36, five-point deficit for the Volunteers. Now Bonds trying to make things work here. Inside to Moss. We've got a blocking foul. It should be, I think, before the basket, but will they count it is the question. They're going to count the basket. So an and-one opportunity. Wow, I didn't think they'd count that basket. The foul goes against Starkville Academy number three, Reese Jackson. His first team fourth, and Eli Sanderson back in the game for the Braves, also Dre Frazier for the Volunteers. And number five, 
Tanner Moss has his fourth point of the game, first point since the opening quarter, and he'll step to the free throw line for the first time. Second, uh, pardon me, only free throws up in and good. That's a big free throw there. A three-point play the old-fashioned way by the Braves. The score now reads 44-36 in favor of Tishomingo County. Trying to hold on here against a pesky Starkville Academy bunch. Clock rolling now as we get things going here. Today's game, of course, brought to you by Harwell Parts and Supply, your car quest dealer at 1102 West Coopman Street. Now you can stop by the chat and the staff take care of your parts and supply needs. Their phone number is 662-423-9892. All right, Delp just got his fourth point of the contest on a running lip. A nice move there by Delp. Score now 44 38. Back to a two position in and out. In and out of the hands of Trey Mitchell. Unforced air there on the Braves at Starkville Academy basketball in front of the Tishomingo County bench. We've got updates to our other coverage area games tonight. Uh, in girls' action, Belmont a winner over Boonville 52 25, but the Blue Devils turn to the page. In the nightcap as the Boonville boys win over Belmont 77-45. Now Yarbrough, it's a four-point game. 22 for Jawan Yarbrough. Can the Braves hold on with two and a half minutes to go? It's 44-40. Bonds, got to watch. He's got four fouls. Now Bonds, trying to go inside. He, oh, it's a block. That could, that's such a dangerous play. But Bonds gets the benefit of the doubt. And the foul goes against Starkville Academy number five, George Delp. His third personal team foul number five, and Coach Bill Ball not agreeing with that call, but it goes in favor of the Braves on their home floor. Two shots coming here. Then <laughs> I think Bonds is bringing a sigh of relief as well. I think that Delp maybe slid underneath Bonds at the last second. So two free throws coming here. Again, Delp just picked up his third foul. And just to reiterate what we just got, Belmont girls winning over Boonville 52-25 tonight, and Boonville boys winning over Belmont 77-45 in our other WRMG games. Here's Howell back in the game to replace Sanderson. First free throw in and good for Connor Bonds. 27 points for that young man. Can't fault his effort tonight, but he's got to be a little more careful down this home stretch. Second free throw coming up, and it is good as well. And we've got a timeout, I believe, by Starkville Academy. It's a two-possession game. We've got a 30-second timeout called by the Volunteers. We'll take it with them with 2.24 to go. Your score, Tishomingo County 46 and Starkville Academy 40, and we're going to have a full timeout. And Starkville Academy's got one left in the game. This timeout on the floor brought to you by Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, 343 Highway 72 in the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Home-owned, home-operated your hometown pizza, 662-360-4019 is their phone number for carry-out orders. Don't forget their lunch buffet, 11 to 1, Monday through Friday for $8. Sunday buffet from 11 to 2 p.m. for $9 as well. Hey, thanks as well to Explore Liquidation in Belmont, your home for bargains. You can find mattresses at the lowest price around with living room, bedroom, dining room furniture, tools, cool gel pillows, and much more. You can take Highway 25 South to Dickinson Road. It's across from the Tiffin's entrance in Belmont. So let's reset the stage here for you. As Tishomingo County holds a two-possession lead, 46-40 over Starkville Academy. The possession arrow in favor of the Braves. It's going to be key going down the stretch. Foul count, though, in favor of the Volunteers. 18 fouls for Tishomingo County, only five for the Volunteers. So the Starkville Academy Volunteers and the bonus for the duration of this contest. 2.24 on the game clock, and we are back to game action. Volunteers have it, and we'll go the length of the floor. A reminder, coming up tomorrow... More basketball action as Ripley comes to town for a big Division I for a tilt. But now we've got a traveling violation on Jawan Yarbrough, and that is a big, big turnover on Starkville Academy. Braves can run some clock here, but Starkville Academy is going to show some pressure here. Full court pressure for the Volunteers. 2.14 to go. Moss to inbound for the Braves. He does to number one, Ashton Dilworth, who's back in the game following the timeout. Now he turns it away. Stolen by Delp. Layup in and good. Number 11. Dre Frazier's fifth point of the game, assisted by Delp, who got the steal. 46-42, two minutes to go. Moss, nice pass there to Dilworth. Braves have to get it into the front court. Now to Bonds, got to go quick. He does get it across the court now to Dilworth. Braves can run some clock now and reset the offense, and Bonds will do just that. That was handled just about as good as you can by the Braves. Now Bonds, he's fouled, and the volunteer fans do not like that. It's going to be on the floor before the shot. And the foul will go against Starkville Academy's number five, George Delp. That's his fourth. Keep an eye on that. Team six on the next foul. The Braves will shoot free throws. But for now, Braves will inbound underneath their own basket. It's gotten interesting, folks. 46-42 as Mitchell checks back in to replace Dilworth. Clyde will inbound the play ball to Stephen Howell. Howell, low pass, but corralled by Trey Mitchell. 
Mitchell back to Glidewell for three. A big shot. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound to George Delpin, Starkville Academy. This can be a one possession game. Here comes Future on a foul. And two free throws coming here. Foul goes against Tushamingo County number five, Tanner Moss. His third team night. Officials rule this to be a two free throw violation, though, and Future could make this a two point game with two free throws. Today's game brought to you by Piggly Wiggly of Ayuka, Belmont, and Red Bay. Lowest prices, hometown friendly service. First free throw, no good. Big, big miss, though. Futrell can still make this a one possession game with this free throw. Futrell's got four points. This is his first free throw attempts in the contest as a team. Starkville Academy is now three for four to the free throw line. Again, was there mentioned, not many free throws for either team in this game. Second free throw is good. And, folks, for the first time since the first quarter, this is a one possession game with 90 seconds to go. Starkville Academy again, a full court press. Bonds. He'll go up the court. He'll get it in the hands of Glywell. Now to Bonds. His layup, no, it's stolen away. He tried to find Moss and stepping in front of the pass is Randall Futrell. 75 seconds to go. A three point basket ties this game. We've got a timeout, Starkville Academy. I believe this is final timeout. And we'll take it with them with 112 to go. Tishomingo County, 46. Starkville Academy, 43. Timeout on the floor brought to you by Grace Long Real Estate. Can help you sell your home, 662-423-5555. Grace and her staff will work hard for you. And also thanks to H&R Block and Iuka Red Bay and Fulton. They are your tax professionals. Also, don't forget Sid Whitehurst and Sid's Trading Company. Of course, they've got that second location to serve you at 617 Highway 72, just past the campus of Tishomingo County High School. Their original location, of course, is on Highway 25, just south of Iuka. Phone number is 662-424-0025 for that location. The new location, 662-205-6469. Don't forget Bushhawk Zero Turn Mowers, Coyote Tractors, Skag Mowers, Land Master Utility Vehicle, and also your local authorized brand dealer. It's all at SIDS. If you've got a Bushhawk Mower dig, get her did at SIDS. All right, 72 seconds to go, 112 on the game clock. 46-43, team fouls, nine for the Braves, six for the Volunteers, both teams will shoot free throws on each foul, of course, uh, pending offensive fouls. And the, yes, that's right, the Volunteers will inbound the basketball on the far side of the court. No timeouts left for Starkville Academy, also remember that. Craig Daly's got a couple in his pocket as well to use. If needed, inbounds play is in. Clock running. Goes to Randall Futrell for Starkville Academy. Now over to Delp. A three-point basket ties this game. It's 46-43. And, folks, we've got one minute to play. One minute to play. Jackson in front of the Volunteers bench. Now for the tie. It's in and good. We're tied at 46. Number 11, Dre Frazier knocks down his second three-point basket of the game. Bonds trying to go down the court. His pass is tipped and stolen away by Delp. And the Volunteers can hold for overtime if they want. They can hold for the win. Braves had an 11 point lead at halftime and it's now even. 46 all, 30 seconds to go. Delp with the basketball. Now they will hold it. We're either going to overtime or we're going home with the Starkville Academy Volunteers a winner. Mosto trying to force the turnover. Ten seconds to go. Delp with the basketball guarded by Bonds. Delp will drive inside. Now the basket to Juwan Taylor. No, pardon me, no basket. Now he's fouled. There's the basket. And Starkville Academy has completed the comeback with 4.7 seconds to go. They take their first lead of the game. And the foul goes against number 21, Stephen Howell. His third and a timeout by Tishomingo County. Wow. Holy cow, what a comeback by Starkville Academy. 4.7 seconds to go, and the Patriot, uh, pardon me, the Volunteers have come from behind. They trailed going into this quarter by nine points, and they have erased that deficit. The Braves in this period. They've only scored 10 points, I believe, if my calculations are correct. 29, 36, yeah, only 10 points in this period. And the Starkville Academy 
Volunteers, they oppositely have scored 21, possibly 22 on the free throw. The good news, the Braves still have plenty of time to tie or take the lead following the timeout here. So one free throw coming up for Yarbrough. The bad news is he's three for three at the free throw line so far in this game. Possession arrow does favor to Shemingo County if it should come to that. Braves would go to the free throw line on a foul no matter where it is on the court. And the Braves tonight have shot four for four, five for five. They are eight for nine at the free throw line. So you like the Braves' chances there, possibly, if you can get there. But a two-point lead with a good free throw shooter at the line. The Braves need a miss here and a fast break shot. All right, we're back to action. Yarbrough at the line for one, following the foul from Stephen Howell. What a comeback. All right, one shot, here it comes. It's Jawan Yarbrough, he's got 24 points in the game, second most to Connor Bonds. Here's the free throw and it is no good. Four seconds, three, two, one, zero. Bonds for the win, it's off the mark and the Volunteers have come from behind and won this one by the score of 48 to 46. Heartbreak for the Braves. Final score, Starkville Academy, 48 to Shemingo County, 46. A heartbreaking loss for Tishomingo County as they will now fall to 7-7 seven and seven on the season. Here's your final stats brought to you by Ronnie Cook and the Modern Woman of America. To plan for your financial future and learn about member benefits, get to know your Modern Woman representative. He's Ronnie Cook. Call 662-423-8477 to start the conversation. All right, here they are, your final stats. Connor Boz, the leading scorer in the game for Tishomingo County. A sensational performance of 28 points will be, unfortunately, uh, cast by the wayside a little bit after the incredible comeback from Starkville Academy. Following him, six points for Trey Mitchell, five points for Justin Glidewell, five points for Tanner Moss, two for Eli Sanderson, a total of 46. Overall, a cold shooting night for the Braves, unfortunately. Also for Starkville Academy, 24 for Jawan Yarbrough. He's the only player for Starkville Academy in double figures. Dre Frazier with eight. He had the game-tying three-point basket. Five for Logan Roach, five for Randall Futrell, four for George Delp, and two for Tanner Graves. A total of 48. A Starkville Academy outscores Tishomingo County 22 to 10 in the final period. Well, a heartbreaking way to end the night, but it was a good start to the night for Tishomingo County with the Lady Braves winning 56-19 in the opener. They were led in scoring by Katie Powers with only eight points. The leading scorer in the game, Abby O'Neill for Starkville Academy. With 12 at the end of the night cap, you just saw the finish here at Tishomingo County. Heartbreaking fashion falling to Starkville Academy, 48-46. Connor Bonds leads the way with 28 of Tishomingo County's 46, half of the points going to Connor Bonds. That's it for our broadcast tonight. Thank you so much for being here with us. We are back on the air tomorrow, and it is a big, big-time Division I for a game as the Tishomingo County Braves host Ripley. Big-time matchup. The girls' game will be for first place in the division. Uh, alone, the guys will try to rebound quickly and pick up their first division win of the year. Of course, Varsity Girls action starts around 6 p.m. With the guys to follow, we'll have all that action for you here on WRMG TV 12 TV 7. That's again tomorrow night, Friday, December 20th, Ripley at Tishomingo County. For Randall Lindsay, I'm Blake Long saying so long from the campus of Tishomingo County High School. This is WRMG TV 12 Television 97.